This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. This episode of the award-winning Weekly Planet podcast, Australia's number one podcast, bar none, officially. How'd that feel? Bad. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you, just to clear that little list up, you said, hey, do that at the start, see how it feels. This was a trap. Yeah, I don't like it. Anyway. Anyway, I'm stuck in it. I'm going to yep. do it forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is brought to you by Casper. But before we get to Casper, Mason, we're going to talk about them a bit later. Uh, we've also got another sponsor, one of our faves, uh, Mack Weldon. And mm-hmm. The reason I love Mack Weldon, Mason, is because it's great clothing and it lasts really long and it doesn't smell weird and it fits really well and it's just a good quality overall. And there's a great selection of t-shirts and jocks and socks and... I don't know. What else? Why don't you tell us how you really feel, lol? I am, Mason. That's oh, yeah, what I'm doing ways. already. You actually did it, didn't you? Yeah, it's easy. a lot of detail yeah. there. It's easy doing an ad for something that you're literally wearing and you wear it most <laughs> days. And when you have to pick out a pair of underwear to wear that's not Mack Weld and you go, Ugh. and then you check the washing basket to see if you've got any. Yep. And sometimes you do. Oh, and you're like, it's Christmas. Happy days, yeah. 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 And the socks are great. It's just good all, it's good all around, it Mason. It's good all around. I yeah. agree. Yeah. So 110%. Buy it. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> if you want to, sure. Yeah, obviously. That's a pretty high that's, percentage. That's our, that's our major philosophy about this podcast in life. Mm. Do it if you want to. I mean... Exactly. But it's good for going on dates, going to work, going out, working out, being cool, doing a cartwheel, kicking a friend in the head, uh, eating a sausage roll. Whatever you want. Not eating a sausage roll. That's that covers <laughs> all major activities in life. It does. When you eat the, if you're eating a sausage roll or not eating a sausage roll, Mack Weldon is the, the brand the, to be doing it in. It's the choice. Yep. Yeah. It's the only choice. So yeah, they do underwear, socks and shirts that look good and all of that. We've actually got a discount uh, of 20% when, when you go to MacWeldon.com and use the promo code PLANET, which is really good. Uh, it's 20% is a lot. That so is. It's a very good deal. Um, it's one in five. They're very reasonably priced Agreed. to start with. I it's mean. reasonably priced also for how well, how long they last. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, can buy stuff... a, you can buy a cheaper one, yeah. but like there's a lot of cheaper stuff. You put it in the washing machine once yeah. and it's weird and out of shape and the hem shrunk. And it's... I know exactly what you're talking about. It's yeah. a major brand and they're no good because mm-hmm. I've been through a few of them. But no, all my stuff looks like I just bought it mm-hmm. and I wear it a lot. Anyway, uh, so MacWadden.com, promo code PLANET to get 20, 20% off. Cool. Oh, that was an award-winning ad from an award-winning show. You should, put, you should put award-winning podcast in the intro to the regular podcast as well. See how it feels. Okay. Maybe that'll feel better. <laughs> okay, you good. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. This isn't a trap, by the way. Okay, the good. first one was a trap. This one is not a trap. I'm ready. Okay, we'll do the theme song and then I'll do that bit. Okay. Red hot comic book movie news. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet. Australia's number one podcast, number one award-winning podcast. <laughs> felt better when I do that. <laughs> it just didn't sound better. <laughs> no, but it felt better. Okay. If I just push through like that, I don't yeah. think about it. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me is always my co-host, Nick Mason. I don't think you'll be able to maintain that level of hysteria <laughs> like in future. Oh, no. Mm. Definitely not. That was good, though. I liked it. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Uh, Has your life changed since becoming an award winner, James? Somebody came around yes, uh, the other day. It was Friday. One of Claire's friends. She said, hey, congratulations. And I went... And for a second, I'm like, is Claire pregnant? Did she not tell me? <laughs> that was my thought. And she went for the podcast. I'm like, oh, yeah. Mm. Thank, thanks. My real baby. My re- <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm. Uh, so, that no, that's the only way it's changed. Mm-hmm. What about you? Uh, got a couple more Instagram likes. Wow. I put up an Instagram of the, of the award. Of the award. Oh, yeah. You're killing it, mate. It's hard to photograph because it's made of glass. It's made of glass. Yeah. yeah. Is that a metaphor? Maybe. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah almost certainly. Yeah, good. Anyway, we can never win it again either. You can only win it once. Mm-hmm. It's like the Brownlow. So this year we're starting already. Like next Brownlow. year, next year we're pushing for. Who are we pushing for? I don't know. Maybe do go on. Maybe do go on. Yeah. Hey guys, let's get a, let's rally up around do go yeah, on. Let's yeah. let's have them win the award next year. Any of the great Planet Broadcasting podcasts mm-hmm. that deserve it, Mason. Yes. Okay. Also, just quickly, we've got our Care Australia uh, charity campaign running at the moment. Yeah. Already raised six thousand dollars. More than six. Six and a half. I think six and a half. Right we're aiming for more than that, and for as a bit of incentive, Claire's reached out to a bunch of our brands who are donating stuff as prizes. That's right. We're talking some major sponsorship deals here, Mason. We're talking some prizes for limited yeah. amount of people, but you've got to be in it to win it. That's true. Mack Weldon and Movement. Those movement are the two watches, at the uh, to, uh, Currently, we, we, can, we can reveal yeah. those. But it looks like we'll be getting a few more. Yeah. You, so. want, you like free sunnies? Well, then you might win. <laughs> yeah, one. that's right. Think about it. If you donate 10 bucks, then you, wear, then you win a pair of sunnies or a t-shirt. You're making money, mate. You're making money. You're making money. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually, maybe we should 
But what if we, we sold it and we donated it? But now that'll be like, mm. <laughs> we'll do the math and then we'll come back to it. Okay, right. You're, you're, you're plotting over there. You're, yeah. You're plotting some sort of, you're plotting graft over there, but I, I understand it. I yeah. definitely am. But no, that, so they'll definitely, we always planned on doing prizes just we hadn't been confirmed as of yet. So hopefully that's a little bit more incentive to- And obviously we'll, get, we'll try to answer right. everybody's Q&A questions. Yeah, there's also a bunch of other stuff and a bunch of other podcasts are putting up free stuff and extra content. So mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. Um, one more quick thing. Uh, we did a Deadpool commentary also. It's linked below. Oh, we did. We yeah, that's right. Deadpool. Uh, it's coming out next week, this week. I think so. I enjoyed the movie significantly more than you did and second I, time yeah, around. It was, oh, I didn't hate it. It was yeah. fine. It's totally fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a reason though I don't think I've seen it since I saw the movies and as when we did it last week. But uh, mm-hmm. if you want to hear people jabbering away over the top of a movie where a guy's <laughs> just jabbering away. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mate, you so are many layers. going to love it. Do, were you surprised at how few jokes there were about balls? No. Okay. Yes. I thought there would be more. I also There's a there ball lull. There is a ball lull. <laughs> In the middle somewhere. <laughs> but then it yeah. picks up a bit at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Ball Lull's my favorite holiday destination. <laughs> it's it? near Bali, yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. Mm-hmm. You can wear a Bing Tang t-shirt there. You know I can. Yeah, yeah. You get a sweet sunglasses tan. <laughs> you could punch a local. <laughs> all of these things. <laughs> all of these things are things Australians do <laughs> all the time. Correct. Uh, anyway, Mason, it's well, been... I was going to say the Care oh. Australia link is probably... It's, it's all below, linked below, And yeah. it's also on my Instagram. It's a little bio Excellent. on my Instagram. there you go. Which is N-I-C-K-M-A-S-E-A-U. Nick Maysu. That's right. I've, I've I've caught I've cut in here to really really push that Instagram. I'm going to push mine. Mr. Sunday Graham never Ham, used it. Never used it. That's right. I love grams of coke. That's what I'm doing. Oh, that's why. I'm okay, I like fan. it. Yeah, nice. Not true. I heartily disendorse drugs, Mason. Mm-hmm. What do you think of that? Well, well, you're not invited to bar lol or wherever it is. <laughs> what going. thing you said? Right, Mason, a bunch of shows were uh, uncancelled and cancelled this week. Yeah, that's right. It was a crazy situation. I'd like to apologise. I I thought I'd have to make a whole bunch of apologies this week. What for? Because uh, last week, I think, or the week before, I heartily endorsed both drugs and the TV show Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Luckily, uh, drugs didn't get cancelled. No, that's right, but... (laughs) Thank God. Boy, imagine. Let's do it another season, at least. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Snow season. (laughs) Uh, But, uh, yeah, Brooklyn Nine-Nine was then summarily cancelled by Fox. Yeah. At at five seasons. We weren't going to get a sixth season. What are Fox doing? Just in general. I don't know. I mean, they're selling it all. Yeah. So that was a theory, that they're selling it, so they're cancelling everything. Uh, Was it... it they're selling it. So, were they cancelling things so then it would be difficult for Disney to get stuff back, or so all guess. the people purchasing getting? I don't know. But it, they got picked up immediately by NBC, by NBC. right? So that, I, I just think is that was that also a publicity thing? Oh, I don't like, know. Like I do wonder whether that was always the plan for NBC to come in and scoop it up. I don't know. It just seems like that got a lot of heat when that show. It did, and get that it seemed heat. like yeah. it was. It, it wasn't like a week's worth of. You know, like confusion. Of who's, what's like going to? Yeah, it, it wasn't even a full day. Exactly. Yeah. It was like in the Planet Broadcasting Group, the yeah. Facebook group. People were posting up, "Hey, Brooklyn Nine Nine's getting cancelled." And in in the queue, like that, and that was at the bottom of the queue. Yeah. And then at the top of the queue, it was like NBC's got it. Yeah. All of a sudden, so it's, exactly. You know, so wild. Look, it's a solid show, man. And like you said, it's you can just put it on. Yeah, exactly. And do anything else. Mm. You can watch another show while watching it. I would recommend rationing it out, though, because the new season's only going to be 13 episodes. Good gravy. I know. Okay. But that'll give that'll give it a chance for them to wrap everything up in a yeah. neat little bow, I think. If they do, they might even go on for more. Some shows get a bit of a extended yeah. life from this, yeah. But I think the, the main reason it got cancelled is because it's really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't rate all that well, I don't no. think. And look at the cast. Yeah. Like, it's pretty, there's some pretty famous people in that, mm-hmm. and even coming in and out. Yeah. But uh, the one that really I was like, oh, that sucks. Uh, Last Man on Earth. That's right. How many um, seasons did that get? Three? Did four. Three or four. Okay, right. But uh, it ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah, like right. Like a big cliffhanger. Uh-huh. I think that so, show is so great. Uh-huh. Uh, it's Lord and Miller, actually, who are behind who a did, lot of uh, it. Who were going to do who Solo. Did, who did 20% of Solo. Yeah, right. <laughs> whatever okay. they ended up doing. But uh, so that sucks because I think that show is genuinely good. Uh-huh. Um, and they only do like 10 a year anyway. Now, when, when you say it ends on a cliffhanger without giving any spoilers, do you think that four seasons and ending on a spoiler is a good way to go out? Do you nah. think it, But don't, don't, don't you sometimes feel like it's just... It's just a piece of art on its own. Oh yeah, like, look, it's look. Oh, there's, but you really want to see that. You're invested yeah, in the characters enough that you exactly. want to see it resolved. And there's always other shows and things get cancelled and brought back and whatever. And then there's a new show that I really like. It, it all it never ends. Yes, it's fine until the bombs yeah. start dropping. Mason. Oh yeah, doesn't matter. That's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? What if they ended it? Has has any of these shows ever ended with kind of like a 
I don't know, like a like a like a one shot, like a YouTube short or something like that, where they. What, yeah, I, right. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past like Will Forte and and Chris yeah. and Charles or whatever to just go out in the desert yeah. and record like a. 10 minute finale yeah. where they wrap it where they go okay well here's the cliffhangers resolved yeah and here's here's the end kind it of wouldn't thing. surprise me no right i'm thinking i'm like firefly was sort of that i mean except replace youtube video with 60 million dollar sci-fi <laughs> yeah. movie which did fine yeah which did fine there must be examples of that mm. but i, I, had, I, I thought I'm, i had one but uh. well i was gonna say punish your dirty laundry oh yeah but. right yeah but that's not like that ended on a cliffhanger no that's true he got john travolta and he blew him up in cars made of skulls or that's whatever. right yeah, yeah exactly perfect perfect ending neat little bow neat little bow but uh yeah that was a good nice that was a nice little kind of end to the thomas jane thing not that it really kind of needed it but it's mm-hmm. a nice little kind of bow on that i got some other cancelled shows here i'm ready uh you're not gonna believe this one in humans what yeah I'd, I was wondering if they were just never going to mention it, but they've officially <laughs> right. they cancelled it. Uh-huh. Uh, there's also Lucifer, which a lot of people are another Fox one. A lot of people really love that show. I've yeah. never seen it. Have you seen one or two of those? I think I've seen a couple of episodes. Yeah, I remember you mentioned it. Was it. Kind, you it was pretty intriguing. It. Yeah. I'm like, I'll get to more of this. Didn't. Yeah. But I'm sure I will. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other one, uh, Podcasting Dad with Zach Braff. Oh, Alex Inc. Yeah. Who would have thought that the behind the scenes adventures of a couple of dorks in podcasting wouldn't be popular on what's, TV. You know what's ridiculous about that? That is literally my life. Not literally, but that is the job that I have. Yes. Somehow. Uh-huh. And I looked at that and went, couldn't give a shit. And that's <laughs> literally what I do every yeah, day. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So, because that's the thing. Like, people on the outside have clearly are not intrigued. <laughs> no, why would they be? So, and, and so they're like, well, at least the pod, well, at least there's 200,000 podcasts out there. So at least we'll get 200,000 podcast listen- podcasters li- watching this. Nope. They don't care either. <laughs> I guess it's like if you're a cop, do you watch cop shows? Maybe. You know I don't what I mean? know. I don't know. Hey, if you're a cop and you watch cop shows, let us know. Yeah. Like if your job or whatever your job is. Yes. If you're a doctor in a small town and yep. do you watch a country practice? If you're a podcaster, did you watch Alex Inc.? Correct. And if you didn't, and if you did, why didn't you tell a friend? Yeah. You should have told a friend to subscribe and like. Correct. Alex Inc. <laughs> 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 it's based off a popular podcast. Yes. About, uh, what's it called? Um... Is it it's Reply called All? Gloopal or something. No, oh, it's Gloopal. Gimlet. It's from Gimlet Media. Oh, I see. The guy who started that. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else have we got? Taken. Okay. Uh, the Mick, which I've heard is good, but what is it? The Mick? No idea. Uh, Ashford. What does it sound? What does it sound? The Mick. It sounds like a cop thing, It sounds right? like a cop show like like the Irish Quarter of Town or something. Yeah, right. Okay, I'll have a look. I'll have a okay. quick look. Uh, the Mick. A quick look I for know. the Mick. Look. Mickey, who is an intelligent but lacking ambition, is hustling and looking for a next easy payday. It seems like her ship has finally come in when she oh, goes uh. to Greenwich. Uh, she's a straight. That's nothing like we thought. Her sister's a billionaire, etc. Oh, it's got. Oh, it's, I think it's what's her name from uh, It's Always Sunny. D from It's Always yeah, Sunny. Yeah, I think it's D. Oh, great. Okay. I might be wrong. Well, great, but also it's not coming back. So. Also, it's, it's Always Sunny coming back, it is, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, cool. Uh, another one I got here. A lot of people like The Expanse. I've actually yes. watched a bit of that. I also quite like The Expanse. That's Canadian? Canadian sci-fi? Not anymore, Mason. Yeah, well, it belongs it to nobody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I'd say that seems like it could get picked up. Uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead was cancelled a little bit earlier. Yeah, uh-huh. I heard the next season was going to go apocalyptic. Ooh. Yeah, but it's not happening. And also, that sounds very expensive. Yes, boy, does it. Yeah. You liked that show, though, didn't you? I, I did, yeah. A lot of people uh-huh. really dig that show. I didn't, I didn't say, oh, because I've never seen those movies, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Uh-huh. So I've only seen the Evil Dead reboot. Which is great, by the way. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, but this is very much in the style of, yeah. especially Evil Dead 3. Mm. So it's kind of silly and super gory and yeah. cheesy. That and sounds great, yeah, it's, though. It's fun, I, yeah. I think it's something I'll eventually get around to. And I think it's a show, It's it's you know, you're either on board with that or you're not. Yeah. But every episode I saw was super fun. Right. Uh-huh. Did you see also that um, the, the Tremors pilot was released? No. The Kevin Bacon's in it. It's like a TV series. And apparently it's really good. Okay. So I might give that a watch. I don't know if I've seen the first one. I don't think I have. I know it. Like, I know what it is. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. But I know. Maybe We're I've seen, familiar with the concept of Tremors. Maybe I've seen three or something. Yeah, I don't right. Know. But uh, the other thing is uh, Riggs was fired from um, Lethal, Lethal Weapon, Weapon the for TV being series. too much of a loose unit. Like the actor. Now, which one? Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so the, the Mel Gibson act, the, the actor playing the Mel Gibson role. Yeah. Who was famously a loose unit in the, in the first couple of movies. Throwing cans of bourbon at the moon or whatever he was up to. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh. Really let go. Re- they're going to recast him. Wow. Yeah. Mullet, right? 
Oh yeah, for sure. That's your opportunity. Yeah, for sure. What yeah, are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Get the kid who plays MacGyver. Just do, exactly. Don't. Yes. That, <laughs> and you just do the thing where he shows up for work and they're like, you look different. He's like, yeah, I've grown a mullet. But you go, yeah, I'm a different actor. That's what he should say. They should yeah. just own it. I'm a different actor. They fired the previous actor because he was misbehaving on set and he's, we didn't, the, the producers couldn't rely on him. So they fired him. And now I'm the new actor playing this role. Anyway, let's never speak of it again. And they just cut to them in the car. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. I would watch that show. Yeah, me too. Every week forever if they yep. did that. Uh, the other thing that people are really excited is Rick and Morty was renewed officially. 70 episodes. 70 episodes. Long enough for it to get bad. So, yeah. perfect. That's going to bring it up to 100. Oh, Santa Clarita Diner's is back in oh, well, cool. season three. Uh, anything on Netflix, I'm just, I just assume that it's Yeah, it's going to keep going. Over. It's always quite rare when they're like, this gets cancelled. And you're like, do those things get cancelled? Yeah, it's yeah. weird. But you know what I think it is? A lot of this is... They don't take into account streaming numbers and piracy. Yes. Because all of these shows, or a lot of these shows are quite popular, Mm -hmm. but I don't think they know how, they can't measure the metrics on it. Yeah, right. Netflix, they know exactly what's happening. Even garbage on Netflix does millions. Is is Netflix going to reach some sort of content saturation point? In it, I think in in the sense of like everybody, when, as soon as Brooklyn Nine Nine got cancelled, everybody's like Netflix at, at Netflix. You should take it, kind of thing. Yeah. Surely, it eventually, the amount of new subscribers they get every time they announce a new show, like it has to cap off eventually, must, yeah. and then they're just filled up with this. Do you think there's a Netflix bubble? Yeah, I think there must there, there has to be, be at some a point. GFC. Like they're always just being like, "Hey, Alex Garland, here's fifty million dollars for yeah. Annihilation. What, Make a like, movie that nobody will watch." Yeah, yeah. right. Did you know the, the, that's based on a book that has two sequels? Really? Yeah, I'm gonna read those. I saw them in a bookshop today. A bookshop today, you say? Bookshop today. This very day. Yes. Okay. Oh wow. Mm. I wonder if they're gonna make sequels to that movie. I'd love to see a sequel to that. Yeah, kind of would. Even though, like, I'm like, I'm good with that. But yeah, if yeah. they no, absolutely. And look, I just read the back, and apparently, the secret of that place is revealed. Even more revealed. Even right? more revealed. Even more revealed. Just this very day. Yeah, the bookshop. <laughs> it's a little independent bookshop. Just having right. a good time in there. Anyway, there's other shows that we're in and out or whatever, yep. but uh, I, I think I got most of the main ones. Mm-hmm. But don't worry, everybody. Most no of this, one worry. Most of this stuff will probably get renewed at some point. Sure. In 20 years at the world. Oh, yeah, for sure. It doesn't uh-huh. matter. Also, there's a new show where Nathan Fillion, he's, he's a rookie. But he's 46. He's a rookie oh. cop, but he's 46. Okay. So maybe he's, maybe he's got a little bit of uh, street cred and street knowledge. Or maybe he's a bit old for this bloody job, Mason. Yes. That's it. I don't know. I just saw the poster. Okay. And he looks good. Great. Is he, is he charming? <laughs> he Does he have charming. great hair? I think he's lost a bit of weight. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Anyway, good on him. Uh, did you see the trailer for The Predator? Yes, I did. Not very good. Well, it didn't look good, did it? But I don't... I'm not fast. And here's the thing. About this movie about the Predator. Yeah. The famously invisible Predator. Mm. We certainly saw a lot of it, didn't we? Well, he's upgraded himself. Because they're going planet to planet getting alien DNA and putting it in their body and stuff. Mm. So they probably have extra spikes or whatever. But I mean, like, where was the cloaking device? Yeah, no, you're right. We didn't see it. Does that mean it's, they haven't finished it yet? Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe that... I don't know. It looks a lot like Alien Predator... Requiem. Yes, it does. <laughs> it looks just a suburban town and yep. running through the streets and all that kind of uh-huh. stuff, which is not a good sign. No. But it's Shane Black. And yes. I'm so I'm like, yeah, fine. I'm willing to give this a fine. shot. Yeah, like, totally right. I haven't loved everything he's done, but no. most of it is very good. Yeah. So. And I just, I think also the risk though of this is this trailer isn't very good and then it might not do well based off the marketing. Yeah. And it ends up being a really good film because the Nice Guys did not do well at That's all. That's true, yeah. Mm. And I'd love to see another Nice Guys film and they'll probably mm. never do it. Maybe they'll do a little YouTube short, get Thomas Jane in, yeah. bring everybody back. Nice guys, kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Ooh. Crossover double feature. Lots of kissing? Yeah. Uh, a lot of banging. <laughs> Good. Yeah. But, so do, is the kid, do you think the kid's controlling the craft or do you think that's a beacon? Oh, yeah. I think. I that don't think it's a, a literal one to one. No, no. I think it's, yeah. if anything, it's, a, uh, it's either nothing or it's, he's activated some sort of homing beacon. I think it is activated. I think they said he okay, inadvertently right. okay. sets it off. What kind of government agency is just sending a box to somebody's house? Just nobody's there to receive it. Just leave it on the doorstep. Or is that going to like Gary Busey's kid or something? Could be going to the Busey's maybe kid. That's Buse, maybe that's Busey Jr.'s kid. I don't think it is. Busey Jr. Jr. I think it's uh, you said Boyd Holbrook's kid. Oh, okay, the right. guy from Wolverine Logan. X-Men yeah, right. 2. Okay. okay, cool. Yeah. But again, where's the cloaking device? Yeah. That's what I wanted to see. All I wanted to see... They're I wanted invisible, mate. I, I wanted to see... Yeah, I know. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. I wanted to see a cloaking device. I wanted to see weird thermal visions. I wanted to see new ones. All of these things Fresh are Fresh millennial thermal visions. I don't disagree with you, but it's also good that they didn't lean too much on that stuff. 
but maybe they should have leaned on it a little. I think they should have. Yeah, because it just looks kind of generic. This is a, this is a yeah. This I feel this is the venom. This is like the venom yeah. trailer. But first at least one. you know what it is. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. true. Yeah, but no. So yeah, again, I'm only really worried about it if it doesn't do well because mm-hmm. I enjoy. It. Like I thought, I've said this before a lot. Predators is great. It is. I will. I will say I will get that carved into my tombstone and face. <laughs> I've done it already. Good. Yeah, <laughs> you've carved my tombstone. Yeah, I've, I've done it you already. You put yeah. the year on it yet? Yeah, 2018. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, no, you've got heaps of time. Don't even worry about it. It's, 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 we're nearly halfway, though. And what if I die? It could die anywhere between now and then. Did you put the month on it? Um, yeah, April? <laughs> oh, I've got to change. I've got to ch- I gotta call, call my stonecutter guy. <laughs> uh, I don't really have anything else to say about the Predator, mm. except... Is the first one just called Predator? It is, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's confusing. Mm. They should have called it something else, like Predator's Payback. Predators. Do you think it is payback? Do you think that's house the... time? <laughs> Do you think? Hang on. So, okay, but my question is because that is the, the beacon thing. Yeah. That's a is that a predator gauntlet of some sort? Maybe. I have it no looks idea. kind of gauntlety. They're always calling. Didn't they call him the Earth in Alien versus Predator? I think so. Or was that, but something, I, but was I, that something else? I'm saying is yeah. the, is this a tie? Is this the original Predator's gauntlet that has somehow yeah. survived? Oh, maybe. Or the Predator Two's gauntlet because he got his arm cut off. Oh. Remember yeah, he got his, Danny Glover cut his bloody yeah. arm off. Was that in the? Wasn't in the Predator ship though? Was it? No, it was... He hit, didn't he trigger his bomb and he took his arm off Yeah, or yeah, okay. That's right, okay. But speaking of going in the ship, didn't we do a caravan of garbage on this very thing? Yes, we did. We did a... One of the worst. Yeah. We cheated. No, Predator 2. We did Predator. Yep. Which I put out last week. Ben edited it. Well uh-huh. done. And we've got another one for Predator 2 coming up mm. at some point. But yeah. Oh, also, this week's Caravan of Garbage is a comic, and it's a really good Deadpool comic. Oh yeah, so that's, it's one of the one of the choosing. classics. Yeah. We've we've banged on about it ad nauseum. That particular comic. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is what 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 it seems odd to me about this trailer is like it feels like they've gone okay. There's a new generation of action movie watchers, science yeah. fiction movie watchers. Sure, they're going to be blown away by this. But I think they've failed to factor in that there's so many people who ha- who have seen all the originals. Yeah, right. Even even young people who have seen all the originals because they've been told they're classics, and now mm. are just like, yeah, we, we've seen all this. We've seen he, they're kind of tall and they have the mask and they have the three dot laser sight. Like that's yeah. not give us something else. Do you remember? We, they didn't even, we didn't even really see them what they've been hybridized into no. kind of thing. Dogs, dogs, for dogs, for dogs. Like in Predators. Like, do you remember though the the trailer for Predators? Mm-hmm is there's a bit where Adrian Brody's there and then all the dots light up on him and that's yes. how it ends. Uh-huh, yeah. It doesn't actually happen in the movie. No. But that's a great trailer. Uh-huh. But that's got a crack and opening. Remember, that? it just opens where he's that, falling, falling out the of the sky. sky yeah. That movie is so good. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to see if it's on Google Play right now. Good, you and should. And then I'm going to watch it. Yeah, you should. That, during this you podcast. You know, that is my go-to if I want to watch something. My mind always goes, watch Predators. Yeah, right. Always. Huh. Even if I don't watch it, my brain always just wants, wants to watch Predators. Wow. It's ridiculous. Do you think you have a problem? Yes. Is that the movie you lost your virginity to? Is that why? <laughs> to. At. I yeah. lost it at. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, another bit of news. Yes, I'm uh, ready. Mila Jovovich is going to be in the Monster Hunter movie. The Monster Hunter movie. Are you familiar with the game? Oh, vaguely, yeah. sort of. They're all handhelds, and there's a new one on PS4, and it's it's got it's got a whole lot of heavy RPG elements, and you you hunt a monster and okay. you kill a big dinosaur. And is there thing. a particular uh, character that she is going to like? Is there a is there a, yes. are there particular character? There's a main character types? called Quiver. Uh huh. No, I don't know. Okay, right. well, <laughs> but there could be. Yeah. Does that sound real? Yeah, sure. You I'm got, sure there me. is, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm not up on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I know there's a lot of people listening to this who are fans. Of this thing that won't turn out good, <laughs> so that's exciting. Yeah, look, they're approaching quality. These video game movies. Do you think Mila Jovovich is yes. like? I need to jump on board another franchise. Yeah, I need to leap on board another franchise as if I were leaping onto some sort of zombie-covered convoy. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> Let me just check who's directing this because I wonder if it's her husband. It could be a husband. Yeah, uh, Monster Hunter. Paul W S Anderson. It is. That's her husband, wow. right? Yeah, well. that's. Uh, <laughs> Well, this isn't going to turn out very well, is what it? What a fun team effort they I have going so, on. I think so, yeah. Good, good for them. Yeah. Must have a video game, but budget around $60 million. Oof. That, I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah. And, and How the, are these monsters? What do they look like? Are they huge? Yeah, they're like... It's kind of just big looking different dinosaur looky things. Oh, I think I am aware of this game. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You would have seen it. But uh, yeah, look, anything can be good. Yeah. And he made uh, Space Sam Neil pulls out his eyes. 
Oh, um, Event Horizon. Event Horizon, yeah. Good. Okay. And he made Mortal Kombat, so <laughs> yes. he's made some things. He's made some things literally decades ago at this point? Two decades ago, correct. correct. Great, okay. And he also did that shot where the laser hallway, which yep. is good, and then mm-hmm. they kept doing it in every yep. movie. Yep, uh-huh. And also the bit where um, Mila Djokovic scissor kicks a rubber dog. That's true. These all are those all good things. things. All those things are good. I guess it would really take some pressure off every time you make a movie to just lean over to your wife. Like she's just she's just watching TV. She's on her phone or whatever, and you're like, "Hey, uh, you want to? I'm I think I'm probably going to make another movie. You want to be the lead in the movie?" And she's like, "Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. All right, I'll see you on Monday." Yeah, all right. What do I wear? Yeah. A dress. Just yeah. a dress. You, <laughs> yep. can, you can kind of jump around in. I yeah, guess. right. Uh huh. Just bring a big, big curved blade. I guess. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So the solo. Hey, Miller, can you still do that thing where you like land on the ground? And then the camera pans to you, and then you 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 pull your head up real quick, and you look you look real like mean at the camera. Can you still do that? You still good with that? Are I'm sure cool? she's still All good right. with that. Yeah, nice, great. She's aged very well. I like to, to think so, also. You like to think so? I like to think so. <laughs> okay, good. I like her to think things. Uh, the solo uh, a Star Wars story film has premiered. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's got really Our good. Friend uh, Steel Soldier. Yeah, was I was going to say Steel was there, and he said I, he didn't seem like blown away by it, but he was like, okay. yeah, it's fun. Okay, cool. Which is as I think as good as this was ever going to be for me. Yeah, but I'll take that. I'll take uh-huh. a fun, uh, yeah, a for fun sure. Ride. And as big a fan of Star Wars as Steel is, I think he's very, like, he's very measured, and he takes everything on. He hates a lot of stuff from Star. Oh, exactly. Wars, he's yeah. not like he's not like. Well, I'm going to like this just because it's Star Wars. Yeah. He's going to be like, he's, he's sort of straight down the line, and like, if it's good, it's good, and if it's yeah. not good, it's not good. So if he's if he's enjoyed it, then he's, I think that's he's a got a good uh, he's got a like straight after reaction video. Yeah, right. You have to call it reaction because you can't officially review it. Yeah, that's right. on YouTube. Oh, that's right. They say reactions are okay yeah, now. Yeah, reactions are fine. Social media reactions. Yeah. I guess YouTube can. You're allowed that. to turn on your webcam and just scream into it for 30 Absolutely seconds. Absolutely, you are. One million views. The thing is, you can't trust any of the stuff that comes out of this. the, the premieres. Like, mm-hmm. really. Yeah. I mean, I trust Steele's opinion. We are pretty much line up on a lot of stuff on Star Wars. Uh-huh. All this stuff, you can't... Like, the early buzz from the press. A lot of people get kind of caught up in that. Yeah, right. Um, so, just yeah. wait it's and see. It's all the free champers, my friend. And also, a classic example of that is how many people hated The Last Jedi after everybody came out of the... I know, I liked it a lot. Yeah, right. But how many people... Did not were not on board with what critics said for that, like a lot. Okay, so what was the critical consensus for that? Generally, very good, like eighty or ninety. Oh, okay, right, and well. it's like fifty percent huh. split. Uh, I do not think Solo will be that controversial at all. No, I think it's got, it sounds like very throwbacky, mm-hmm. very Chewbacky throwbacky, Chewbacky throwbacky. Yeah, but uh, no, it's fine. I'll take a fine one. <laughs> yeah. Sure, that's fine. They they don't have to be all into the universe. That's true. Destiny and whatever. Yeah. But man, I hope he gets that scar. Can't Me wait. too, yeah. Can't wait. Uh-huh. Laser whip. Gets that blaster. Laser knife. He gets, gets, well, blaster. He gets, we know he gets that blaster. Yeah. Somebody throws it to Somebody him. Somebody throws it to him. Here's your blaster. Here's your, here's your scar here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just put it put it right there. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Here's your vest. Here's those dice you're always banging on about. Yeah. Here, you can have them. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the same guy? Just open a chest of, yeah, like a exactly. chest of drawers. And yeah, just... yeah. It's like that scene in the Blues Brothers at the, right at the start where he's being handed all his possessions. <laughs> he just goes up to a, like a window and the guy's like, oh, yep, there it is. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Here's the keys to the Millennium Falcon. All right, now, I want right. to see him take it from a pauper's grave. That's what I want to see him get all this stuff from. Wow. Just go dark with it. Uh, what else we got here? John Favreau, though. What on the... if he's not even Han Solo at the start? What if he takes the name Han Solo? Well, they've said that. Ron Howard, Ron Howard said that. Uh, but it was it was meant kind of metaphorically. How okay, does he right. make his name? Okay, I've right. seen a couple of the clips. I've stopped watching it, but it, it looks he looks like he's doing a decent yeah, job. Okay, yeah. mm-hmm. I still think it's going to be jarring for a lot of it. Jar jarring, jar jarring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's not him. But hey, yeah, whatever. Who is? They're making them forever. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Yeah, exactly. Even right. if you deeply hate them, they're going to hit one that you love eventually. Yeah. Uh, okay. John Favreau though was on the red carpet, Mason. Ooh. He took to the carpet. Uh, he was chatting about Star he's, Wars. He's had his food truck out. Yeah, he's making up some briskets mm-hmm. and whatever. Because uh, he's doing the Star Wars, one of the Star Wars TV series. Because them they're, they're doing more. Uh-huh. There's Resistance, which is set like six years before uh, Force Awakens. But his TV series is revealed is set six or seven years after the Battle of Endor. Mm-hmm. So the Empire's been crushed. Yes, uh, I'm presuming this is about Wait, how many years. Six or seven. Okay, right. So there'd be a young kid, Ben Solo, at this point, because he yeah, was right. born around the Battle of Jakku, mm-hmm. which was about a year after 
mm-hmm. Battle of Endor, which was like the final Imperial. Are we going to see the Battle of Jakku? No, because it's, it's. Oh, we All could right. see it in flashback. Yeah, We've right. seen it a lot in video games. Yeah, sure. In both the battlefronts, you can mm-hmm. you can have a look at it. But oh, it, are you in the battle? Are you in the Battle yeah. of Jakku? It's, but two, you you you're, you're very in it because it's All single right. player. Do we see the bloody yeah. Star Destroyers crash? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's, that's a good level. That's a pretty average game, but that it's yeah, quite right. good. Uh, there's also it's going to incorporate a lot of new characters Mm -hmm. and also some of the techies perfected and also using in the Lion King I'm presuming this is for alien characters and whatever but also the question is for me Mason yes what do you think no Uh, the question (laughs) is for do I think this is money Yes, <laughs> I think it's money, you think baby. It's money? Yeah. Do you think it's money and they don't even know it? Yeah. They probably know it. I mean, they might know it. It's going to headline the streaming service, I'd imagine. Yeah. When they bring out the Disney Man, service. that's money. But do you think they're going to bring or recast characters? Like, because you can bring back Chewbacca, C three PO, because yep. it's guy in a mask or whatever. Uh huh. But you can't. You have to recast Luke. Leia Han, if you even go that direction. I don't think so, no. You don't think they're going to do it? You don't think they're going to bring back Olden Eichenreich so he, to, he can be older than <laughs> <laughs> older How would they songs? do that? What? I don't know. You're right. I, look, I I mean, this 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 it's a new streaming service. Yeah. And it's this is kind of breaking new ground because it's a, a big budget live yeah. Star Wars show. Yeah. Maybe Mark Hamill is in it. Bring him, bring him in for an episode or... But you can't do it six years after. He's too old. It's oh, right yeah, after point. Return yeah. of the Jedi. De-aging. Yeah. Use, those, use those cameras. Use those Lion the, King de-aging cameras. That's true. But I think also for TV, yep. it's, it's an expense. I mean, it's Disney yeah. also. But I think... Well, what if they want to... But that's the thing. Like, what if they want to make a splash? But if, what if they're like, I'll give... Let's put a billion dollars in this show. But then also you, you're tied to that. If yeah, you I bring in Luke Skywalker... Then why can't he every come? time you have to do it, you yeah, have to yeah. do it. Like, right. but if you recast, yep. Say if you put in, so have you seen, you know, Bucky, the guy who plays Bucky? Yeah. Have you seen him with the Mark? Oh, Hamill Sebastian hair? Shaw. He yeah, looks yeah. exactly like That's him. That's true. So I think you could just put him in. I think they even put, just get him to yeah. grow a beard. Yeah, right. And you're done. I think. Look, I think that is a that is a would be an amazing fan casting, but I don't think. You don't think it'll translate? See, I think because he's in Marvel. Yep. And he's with Disney. Mm-hmm. I think there's a very real possibility. I think it's. I think it's possible. I think it's wild, wishful thinking. Yeah. I th- I honestly think they d- might just do back of the head. You don't see him. Yeah, maybe. But I mean, he could do, and they could do like you know, if they want C three PO, they just get Anthony mm. Daniels to phone in a voice or whatever. Like you exactly. Know. Oh, he'd do it. He'd show yeah. up. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's um. I I don't think it's going to focus on those characters anyway. Yeah. Right. It, it's because it's tough. With I mean, you could. I wonder though if you could recast a layer at that point. Uh huh. I wonder if th- you could do that. I mean, you wouldn't do it for the modern day stuff right. or whatever it's set uh-huh. the newer stuff but the stuff set in that era maybe you could recast Princess maybe you could Leia. use that Rogue One Leia CGI so good <laughs> really tweak that a little bit and then uh, maybe put it out there yeah maybe yeah. I don't know I think they're gonna I think they'll recast if they do any of this but it'll be a bit weird alright my money is on Luke, uh, Mark Hamill to come back yeah alright I'm gonna say recast okay alright yeah. anyone or specifically Sebastian let's say Stan? yeah let's make it interesting okay right yeah All somebody right. remind us in four years who won this incredible out, yeah. but incredible bet or nobody I, yeah right <laughs> because yeah, I mean they, they de-aged him for Last Jedi not really so, kind of they just put some dark they just darkened yeah. his beard and it worked they yeah, nailed that you, you, we're talking 20 years yeah I reckon there's enough existing Luke Skywalker footage or young Mark Hamill footage yeah. that they could do that. But they you, just get some footage yeah. of him from The Giver. You're right. A live action version of The Giver. I thought you said MacGyver. No, The Giver. What's The Giver? Giver was like a like a Japanese. It was an anime about like a guy who found like a weird biomechanical super suit. Is he blonde in it? Uh, yeah, I think He's got so. Got a blonde cr- yeah crew cut. I think he does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just get the footage from Wing Combat. Commander. <laughs> exactly. Just get the footage from Sequest DSV. Yeah. He was in that. Yeah. You know what? You, you might be right because they've done it for Anthony Hopkins in Westworld a yep. little bit. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of coming over into TV. Also, it's Disney. So yep. this is something that they've been working on and perfecting. Yeah. Uh, and that's the thing. Like, why not say, hey, you want to see Mark, you want to see more Mark Hamill Star hmm. Wars? You've got to get our streaming service. Yeah. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, they fire him Mark out of a cannon. Yeah. What good it, is he? Into people's homes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just directly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, the other bit of news was that this is a rumor. The Obi-Wan film is uh, is ramping up and it's going to start start shooting April of next year. Wow. So uh, I would love to see that. That's the only spin-off I wanted to see ever. Yep. So uh, <laughs> good, do that. And I hope it's good. 
Do you think they'll do it? Yes. There's a line in The Empire Strikes Back, Mason. I think you I'm remember ready. it. It goes, you look strong enough to pull the ears off a gun dark. Do you remember that? Sort of, yes. And it got me thinking. Mm-hmm. There's a different line in that where Luke goes to Dagobah. And uh-huh. it, he's like, this all feels very familiar to me, like it's out of a dream. And I wonder if you could make a movie where Obi-Wan takes young baby Luke off planet because someone's looking for him. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. okay. I don't think it will be. But it's always been weird to me and I thought they were mm-hmm. building to it in the original trilogy right. that Luke was going to go to Dagobah as a baby first yeah, right. Obi-Wan was going to drop him off and then go to Tatooine I just think it's weird that he's like this place seems really familiar but this then there's I've no re- there's been. no ev- there's never any resolution yeah. to I that I mean maybe it's just because it's, it's the force and everything and maybe he takes Luke to Dagobah mm. and he has to like protect like there's more like it's less there's more civilization there, like oh, there's more, and then he has more to more huts, yeah, more huts, Jabba and then the he has huts. to, yeah, and then there's like maybe there's crime and stuff, and he has to he has to protect him like lone wolf and cub style. That's that's the, the kind of thing I'm talking yeah, about. Maybe yeah, that's it. Uh, but um, I'm I'm definitely wrong on that. I just thought it was an inter- interesting thing. Anyway, I'm glad they're making that Obi Wan movie. Uh, make it. Yeah, when make they, it. When are they going to make a Star Wars movie for men, Mason? That's, That's what I'm right. Saying, you know what I mean? Now, I mean, sure, May the 4th is Star Wars Day, but when's men's Star Wars International Day. Star Wars Day, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's the day, May, May the 4th. That's when there's the most Google searches for men's International Star Wars Day. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm ready. Uh, Bill and Ted Face the Music has gone into pre production. Yeah. It's happening. Uh-huh. Uh, Bill and Ted's three yep. set. It's the last one, like, 91, I want to say. Something like that, yeah. I love those movies. I think Me they're too. both really good. Yeah. Two gets a bad rap, man. That's got some good stuff two's in it. Wi- two's it's wild, w- man. Well, I was going to say, like, <laughs> one like one is the time travel one, but two is the insane one. Because they're yeah. like, you know how we have time travel? Well, we also have death and we have robots and yeah. we have time hell. Loops he- and, yeah, yeah, time loops and heaven and hell. Yeah, and, it's crazy. And the, the part where the Bill and Ted robots pull, pull their, their own face faces off. off. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's it's nuts. And there's the TV show. And there's the TV show. Mm. But it's not voiced by Keanu Reeves, but it might be Alex Winters. Can't remember. Can't remember. Mm. I'm going to look that up. But what do you think about this? Uh, are you excited? Ah, uh, yes. But also with the live action TV series. What? For we, Bill- we talked about this when Charlie Clawson was here. Oh, about, yeah, of course we did. There's a live one. For real. It's kind of entertaining. That's not them either, is it? No. Nope. Cool. Mm. Uh, who's voicing? I just want to check who this is. This feels like a Back to the Future situation. Uh-huh. From that Back to the Future animated series yes. we watched that uh-huh. one time. Mm. No good. Cast. Here we go. Sorry, I need to know. No, Keanu Reeves a- is in it. Yeah. It's both of them. In the animated one. Yeah, I think so, yeah. The only thing is also George Carlin's dead, obviously. Yeah, that's so going to be Rufus, a, bit of a crimp, sucks. bit of a crimp in there. But that's okay. He's, I, I think that would be the role where like, if he hadn't disgraced himself by being an awful human being, I think they probably would have put Louis C.K., Oh, As right. the new, not Rufus, but like mm. the new, because Carlin was kind of the... That kind of... He was that kind of gruff, tell it like it is comic kind of thing. They get Bill Hicks. Oh, wait. Also dead. <laughs> when did he die? 20 years ago? Yeah, 20 years ago, yeah. Is there enough archival footage of him to go, fuck marketing? And yeah, s- absolutely. And oh, for sure. <laughs> That's that he's there's just they just open a door like in, when they need when they need some advice from the new roofs they just open a door and it's just him on stage <laughs> puffing away and being like the Gulf War was a mistake. He was a pioneer. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know they could get then Dennis Leary. Yes, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> Don't. Oh, they they'll get Dennis. We've said it now. They will. They get could Dennis get Leary. Dennis. Yeah. They're not going to get Dennis Leary. Who could you get though? Because you need someone rock like Bowie would be good if Bowie was alive. Who's alive? <laughs> Jagger. Prince? They could get Prince. No, oh, no. Yeah. I don't like Jagger. I don't want Jagger. No. Who do they get? You want a rock? Bono. And rock. No. <laughs> Mike Patton was in two, but he doesn't act. Huh. From Faith No More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, as the we Ruf- care a lot. Yeah. So, as, as the about Ru- the something. As the something. Rufus character, like some yeah. something similar. Uh, you or do get... you go like a Tina Turner or something like that? Oh, maybe. Yeah. What is she doing? No, it's Whitney Houston. Yes. <laughs> okay, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Dodge that bullet. Uh, you get... You can't go like Beyonce. It's too young. You yeah. need like a veteran of the music industry. But George Carlin's not that. No, but he's music. it's a musical kind of role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, okay, he right. shreds yeah. the guitar. You're right, but yeah. it's also because it's also a musical-based future. That's where true. It's all built around. I think you need you need someone comedy or rock I and roll. I reckon you can then. get Beyonce. She was in Austin Powers No, three. and the Pink Panther 2 or whatever. Yeah. No, no. I don't She's think got the chops. Do. No. All right. 
That'd be great, though. Okay, she's not rock and roll, I guess. We could get she's... Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Ah. Uh, t- 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 oh. Axel Rose. Carly Rae Jepsen. Sure. <laughs> R. Kelly. Wow. <laughs> I'll take that back. Yeah. Obviously. Let's think about it. We'll think about yeah, it. If we'll you've got a good on. one, tweet it in. Yeah. Either like a grizzled comic yeah. or rock and roll superstar. Joe Rogan. No. Um, no, they, they would get, yeah, they would get Joe, get, Rogan. Yeah, yeah. Joe Rogan. Okay, what do we got? Uh, Man of Steel 2 looks like it might be happening. Cool. It's going to have a release in 2020. Yep. That's the rumor. I'm on board with that. Me too. Do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've, there's got to be a good one. Just make yeah, a really sure. good yeah. Superman, please. Just do it. Come on. There's enough Superman movies out there where there's a good one if you put it all together somehow. Yeah. You can't, obviously. Mm. But there's to me, there's not a definitively good modern one yet. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, but I think the Superman that they just plonked into Justice League could work in a modern Superman It could movie. work if you give me a compelling villain yes. that is a challenge to him that isn't just Lex Luthor with Kryptonite. Yeah, that's give right. Us, give us a uh, dark side level villain or give us somebody like a like a Zemo in uh Civil War who yeah, right. who who can actually use his brain yeah. in a compelling way. I was gonna say Zod, but they did that. They did Zod. <laughs> they did it already. Yeah. That movie's nearly really good. Did you know Michael Shannon doesn't own like a smartphone? It's a flip phone. I bet he does. Did you know? Did, yeah. 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 I bet he bloody tills his own wheat as yes, well. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> Makes his own shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got. He's the new Bill Murray. I feel I he's just he's, the guy I, yeah. where you just see like a Facebook post with somebody like Michael Shannon just showed up at my party <laughs> at this bar and he's just hanging out and taking photos with everybody. I bet he, all his friends hate him. Yeah. No, I like Michael Shannon. I like him a lot too. Yeah. Uh, Peter Jackson has also been rumored to be uh, looking circling a DC film. Huh. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that at the moment. With yeah. him, he's got a pretty good relationship with Warner Brothers. The other thing is though, apparently him and Weta are very close to or thinking about doing the Lord of the Rings TV series. That's right. So I don't know how much he'd do that. Yeah, so if he commits to that, he's yeah. out for 10 years. He, I can understand why if he does that, he should just step away from it. He clearly, like that's, let him not do it. He yeah, right, yeah, for sure. Like uh-huh. he didn't want to do the last three yes. that he had. Did it. Lindsay Alice did a really good uh, three-part series on The Hobbit. On YouTube about yeah. how they kind of ruined... The acting in the, the the movie industry also, in New Zealand yeah, or something? Exactly. Uh but no, she's great. She's mm-hmm. really good. Uh a couple more bits of news. Sherlock Holmes three mm-hmm. is making its way to cinemas. That's okay. the Robert Downey Jr. Jubilee. Whether you like it or not, it's coming. Whether you bloody like it or not, that's it. Do they, are they do I watch those? Yeah, we've watched them. They're good. I think I like two. They're pretty good. I don't remember liking one that much, but I remember enjoying two more. Because there was one bit where he was in a dress. Yeah. But do you remember the bit where he had a mind fight on the end of a edge yes. of a waterfall? Yes. Yeah. Nah, it'll be good. <laughs> will it? It'll be fine. It'll be fun and breezy and Jude Law and Robert Downey Jr. will be in it. What's interesting about this, though, it comes out a, w- a week after Avatar 2 at Christmas. Like Christmas Day. So I think that's... Uh, I think they could take a, definitely take a big chunk of money out of Avatar. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. When did the first one come out? I'm the, first check. A- the first Avatar. Was it 2009? It was two- yeah, it was around the same time as Avatar. Huh. Yeah, it was. Are these the two great rivals? Two great rivals. Robert Downey Jr., Sherlock Holmes movies, and Avatar. How has this got 70% on Rotten Tomatoes? That cannot be true. It is. It did well box office, though. Good on him. That's really exciting. Mm. There's another one in 2011, which did... Oh, yeah, 59% Rotten Tomatoes. Ooh. Great. Good stuff. Remember the bit where he's having a fight, and it goes into his mind, and he's like... Him and the ribs, and then him yeah, the and mind the fight. We just talked about no, the that's mind the fight because he's doing pit fighting at the start. Because this version's got abs. Is that is that what's happening in my mind? Am I having a, as an, you're getting beaten? Am, no, am I having an assortment of mind conversations with <laughs> you, you about be, the yeah. mind? I'm trying to head off your conversation about the mind fight in every conceivable scenario. It's entirely possible. Mm. A last bit of news: uh, Kevin Feige is open about up about the future of Captain Marvel, and I think mm. it's very interesting. So we're doing Captain Marvel right now. Uh, with Brie Larson, but Ms. Marvel, which is another character yes. in the comic books, the Muslim hero is inspired by Captain Mar- Marvel, is definitely sort of in the works. We have plans for that once we've introduced Captain Marvel to the world. That makes perfect sense to me that they would do that. That's cool. So I think that's really interesting. I think they're doing the same thing with Miles Morales. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to get a bunch of second-tiered, second-generation heroes. For sure. So uh, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really popular character as well. Maybe we'll finally get Donald Glover as the Prowler. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't she in a human this version as well? Ms. Marvel? Sorry. Did you she... get Terrigen Misted? Yes. Yeah. But I'm are they going to do that? I mean, 
Ooh. I mean, if Wait, people... did they cancel in humans? Yeah, man. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I gotta call my dad. We, th- <laughs> we thought they did it the day it yeah. came out, but apparently they've just been waiting. Is that because there was a man apologizing as we left? Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Okay. Got another ad, Mason, and then we got okay, to I'm do ready. Uh, the topic for today. All right. Mason, you can bloody be sure of your purchase with Casper's mattresses. Do you know why? Why? It's 100 night risk free sleep on a trial that they do. <gasps> so you could, if you purchase one, yes. which you can, and, you can and have. And we encourage it. You can try it and then be like, this is great and keep it. Or be like, not for me. And they'll yeah. come and get it. And here's, the, here's, the, here's a dirty little secret. I'm ready. If you get 100 nights, yeah. you also get 100 days. What? You can stay on that thing every waking and sleeping moment. <laughs> 100 Days, 100 Nights. That's a great ex- Sharon Jones song. Absolutely. It's also mm. very convenient. Rest in peace. Absolutely. Also. It's also uh, very convenient because when it comes to your house, it comes in a little box. It's mm-hmm. completely manageable. They don't just dump like a mattress on your doorstep. <laughs> it's in a box, as yep. I said. About mm-hmm. the size of a mini fridge. Is that the, yes. is that the idea, yeah. Mason? Yeah. Very good. It also combines some uh, multiple supportive memory foams. To get you the best night's sleep they possibly can. And mm. it's designed by humans for humans. The exciting thing is also, Mason. Yes. Uh, what do we got here? We have an offer code for people who are like, I would like to get a mattress. If you go to casper.com <laughs> slash I would like to planet. get a mattress. You better say that again. I went over the top of it. I would like to get a mattress. Yeah. Uh, Casper.com slash The Weekly Planet. You use the offer code The Weekly Planet. You get $50 off. Very nice. Which is money. In your hand. In the old skyrocket. You could buy a different thing for it. And I believe there's another thing we that, that's oh, going yeah. on. Oh, yeah. How about this? Right? Okay, I'm ready. Claire sent me this. Okay, yeah. Where is it? Where's the thing? It's, com- it's coming up. It's okay, here or, we go. Always the professional. And after you're done listening to this episode of our podcast sponsored by Casper, yeah. check out Casper the Podcast sponsored by Casper. An entire podcast about Casper sponsored by Casper. Casper, how, how meta. Casper the ghost? Look, you'll certainly be spooked by it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Available now on SoundCloud, Apple Podcast, and Stitcher. All, all formats, aren't they? Madness, but Madness. I'm going to listen to that. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. Okay, good. It's so mis- That's all we got about this. It's so mysterious. What, what happens in it? I think it's ghost related. I don't think Let's it is. Let's place bets. What do you think it is? I think it's mattress related. Do you think it's like good sleep and stuff? How to get a good sleep? Well, maybe it is. Maybe it's handy hit- hints and tips. I still think it's ghosts. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Yeah. yeah, I guess we will. I'll let you know. Mason, we put out the call last week to all the people who listen to this show, or everybody who heard it, I guess, which is however many people have downloaded it. I don't mm-hmm. know. 15 to 20. I'm 15 to sure. 20 people, yeah. yeah. Or a different number. Or a different number. <laughs> uh, it was about fan theories. Yes. We get a lot of fan theories. We do. Off Some at length. Yes. Often at length. Mm-hmm. So we thought, what a good opportunity to throw it out there to people to send in concise fan theories on yes. Twitter. Keep and, it pithy. And also at, at the Gmail. Yes. Uh, so things that may be linking two universes together, uh-huh. theories that maybe change the motivation or the entire way you can perceive a movie and Ooh. all of these different things. And it's funny, we got a we got a bloody boom in response. Yeah, we did. I'll tell you that much. But just yesterday... Or it might have been today. This very day! Uh, Pat Oswald put something up about the Dark Knight. That's just right. coincidentally, which yeah. I've got here. I thought it's, this is a cracker one kick, to start kick off, it off on. Yeah. Uh, it's about the Joker from the Dark Knight. And the, the common theory is uh, that he's ex-military. And that's yes. why he's so tactical and knowledge of weapons. And, and in, in, the, mm. uh, in the movie, he talks about how... Uh, if soldiers die, it's fine because it's part of the you know the people in, in power consider it part of the plan. Yeah. So a lot of people believe that he was a soldier who was abandoned somehow. Yes. And now he's back for revenge. That's it. And all those things make sense. But his idea was he's ex-military, but he's ex-military intelligence, mm. specifically interrogation. Yeah, right. Because of the way he's able to read a person. Like there's a bit where he boasts about. Uh, I know the squeal is when he sees one. He also adjusts his per- personality and methods. I'm just kind of skimming this. Uh, yeah, right. Depending on who he's talking to, to get the, the reaction. So with Gamble, uh, remember the, the, the gang member? Yep. It involves um, terror. With a false, false Batman, there's teasing. Uh, there's digging into Gordon's isolation we got here. Harvey Dent, he talks about fairness. And even with the Batman scene, it's like a reverse interrogation where he's... Because he says, um, in that he says... Never hit somebody in the yeah. head first because they get fuzzy. They get fuzzy, exactly. So he's like, no, no, what you want? Because he, he sort of funnels Batman into, into interrogating him the way he wants to be interrogated and therefore never gives anything away. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So, so all of these things kind of add up to him being 
these movies are quite well written. Yeah, absolutely they are. I wonder if that was the original intention. Mm. I think I definitely think he's military, but this yeah. this fits in big mm. time. But even the language he uses when saying goodbye to Batman, describing their relationship as as an irresistible uh, force meeting an immovable object, it's the kind of thing an interrogator would say. Yeah, right. Uh, and also apparently the joke the Joker uses uh, the Russian's dogs against him and later sticks him on Batman. Uh, just like the pictures of Abu Garab, uh, Garab, yeah. uh of the prisoners being terrified oh, by dogs. interesting. Yeah. So yeah. all of these things, are that adds up to me. Yeah. So I guess what we're going to do is, during this, is say, adds up or shuts up. That's oh, yeah. Cool. No, 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 that's, no, you've committed to it now. I, I didn't even plan that. Yep. I feel like I should have planned something better. No, no, that's, that's where it's going now. It's adds up or shuts up. <laughs> okay, good. You got one to kick look, us off? Look, in, in the spirit of that one there, which is, you know all about military intelligence and torture and terror sure. and all that sort of stuff. Uh, this is from Ryan Brace. Uh, Flintstones and Jetsons take place at the same time. There's a, but- it's basically Elysium before Elysium, he says. <laughs> okay, yes, but isn't there a time travel episode where they cross over? Yes. But that could just be going into each other's... Here's like, the thing, though. The no, here's the thing, though. Uh, the, the, the common in- impression of this is that the f- because... The Flintstones isn't like it's not real prehistoric times because they live with dinosaurs yeah. and they have little dinosaur helpers and they have they have the little cars or whatever. That that is actually that they the Flintstones and the Jetsons take place at the same time, yeah. but the Jetsons are above it all in their in their future flying cities. Yeah, right. But the the Flintstones are below. But like maybe there's some sort of it's it's some sort of irradiated mutant wasteland. I was going to say because how do you explain the dinosaurs? Irradiated mutant wastelands, it okay. it's mutations. But here's the thing: if you watch the Jetsons opening opening credits, it starts with a shot of the Earth, which then explodes into like pieces. Damn so it. so it's the future. The Flintstones are dead, so, man. So wait, in the in the Jetsons, yes, the Earth explodes. Yeah. See, I never watched. I hate those Hannibal. Look it up real quick. Look, no, look, I believe you. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to look it up, Mason. Okay. I won't do it. Like I'm, it doesn't blow up. You don't see an explosion. You see the Earth. Yeah. And then it like confetti. Right. It's very heavily implied that they exist in a world in which the Earth is ex- literally exploded and they, they live out in space. Okay. Yeah. I hate that show. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Yeah. Because, you know, funny jokes. They are funny jokes when you yeah. think about it, yeah. Oh, man. Very good. Mm. That's not a bad one to start with. It's pretty good, right? It's it's not. It's. Where do you stand on it? You don't care. I say, <laughs> shut up. Wait, was that the second thing? No, it adds up or shuts up. Shuts up. Wow. Yeah. Because the earth explodes. Yeah, also, I'm no, fairly certain they yeah. say the years that those are set during the, mo- during Ooh, the actual okay. things. Well, then I also say shuts up. But also, that could just be a different calendar for... That's true. Different uh, mm-hmm. whatevers. But also, the, the Flintstones isn't that bad. It's yeah. just a bunch of dinosaurs and shit. Yeah. Also, in this episode, we will probably get some like Avengers 4 theories yes. or something like that. So in which case, spoilers. If you hear us say Avengers 4, yeah. maybe mute. Turn the volume down, skip forward a minute. Absolutely. Do whatever you need to do. Uh, this is from uh, Lewis. On Twitter, this is Avengers Four about Ant Man and Wasp. Uh, it's going to actually tie in Infinity War, and when half the Earth disappears, they find the possible solution in the quantum realm to be explored in Avengers Four. Oh, they find the solution. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I don't think this. I don't think the solution will be in the quantum mm. realm. I think potentially them being in the quantum realm will save them from being yes, annihilated. I agree. But uh, that that being said, the Infinity Gauntlet, I feel. Could still reach could still you. find them because yeah. that exi- they ex- they still exist. But it's half in the, the life like parasitic. Like wh- what's the level? Oh, it goes you think down if they to? you think if they shrink to below a certain, they don't count as life Potential, anymore? Maybe yeah. I don't know. Because if you question. kill half the microbes on yep. somebody, does that kill them? I mean, probably. Yeah, maybe. We've got a lot of microbes. I on think us. that they will. I think they will both. They. I think Ant Man and the Wasp will may may go down to the quantum realm mm. in this movie. Yeah. And then when they re- and they survive by chance, and then when they return, they discover that half the life in the universe has been wiped out. Ooh. That would be my that would be my guess. That's spooky time, Mason. I know, right? You got so one? shuts up. Uh, this is from Jack D. Mannheim. Yep. Uh, in the movie Predator, which we were just talking about, the sequel. Woo. So the, in the original Predator, there were actually three Predators. Oh, I saw this one. One is killed. Mm. Uh, in the jungle, when the minigun goes off, goes bloody, goes, goes off. Goes right off. That one's killed. Uh, another dies fighting Billy one-on-one, and the last is killed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. We don't see him fight Billy, do we? No. We only hear it. And he's yes. a tough dude. Yeah. Apparently real-life crazy. All right. Yeah. Like, they to, they needed a bodyguard to keep him away from other people. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, I could buy that. There's, that's the thing. You can't refute that. No, that's either. true. So you that can't. Yeah, so true. that's, yeah. That's adds a, up. Adds up. Adds right, up. I'll take that And one. also, like, because there's... Um, there, there's Predator is the only Predator movie in which there's only one Predator. Predator 2. There's multiple Predators. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> there is. There's a lot of them. There's again, a lot of Predators. There? We think... But that's the thing. Like, they send out one. Yeah. But and the rest of them are watching, I guess, or so. stretching. Maybe <laughs> get ready. I think maybe they're maybe he's a maybe he's a young predator. Yeah, I think and that they're might like, be the case. Yeah. And they're like, well, let's see how he does in Predator. And two, if Danny Glover gets the best of him, yeah, will yeah, we'll, sh- we'll shoot him down. Absolutely. But if so, that, are they waiting there, or or did they was that ship always there, or did they go to pick him up? Uh... I, I can't remember. It was always the there. I can't remember the end of the film. Yeah, neither, neither do I. Yeah. I don't remember it landing. I think no, he, I think they just it's end definitely up there. cloaked. Yes, I think they. I think he and Danny is it the, in a factory or something. I think the predator and Danny Glover both end up there. So yeah. I think it was there the whole time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Mm. Going from Grayson Street, who actually recommended this topic from last week, Ooh. he said, uh, "Excited for the fan theory episode. Brief theory and summary for the Martian. Matt Damon was killed." And who we see for the rest of the movie is Martian Manhunter in disguise. <laughs> I see. DC film. That would be a hell of a twist. Wow, wouldn't it? Yeah. I would like that. Just to be like, yeah, he's been here the whole time. He's Mark Watney or whatever. But also, Superman could have gone and get... Oh, he was dead. That's true. Could have gone and get, get him, I was going to say. When is the Martian set? Like near future. So he'd be alive, actually. Yeah, he'd be alive again. Yeah. I mean, unless he dies again. Unless another doomsday gets him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look, that's fun. Yeah. And I like kind of like the idea of Matt Damon as Martian Manhunter. Yeah, but shuts up. But shuts up, because why wouldn't <laughs> Superman just go and rescue him? Yeah. There's no... And by then also, there's Green Lanterns. There's yep. a bunch of stuff going Wonder on. Wonder Woman could probably do it. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. Could she breathe in space? No. How far so. can she travel in space? If not she can not fly? that far. I'm no. saying they put her on a space shuttle. Yeah, she'd wear. Yeah. Or she just, like they do in the 40s, you could just put a dome on her head. And yeah, exactly. It, yeah. With a tube. Dome and a bikini. Dome and a bikini. Fine. That's right. Uh, yeah, no. And yeah, there's, there's so many. Yeah, Green Lanterns could do it. Mm. Batman could do it. He'd have a little shuttle. Yeah, he'd probably. definitely do it. I mean, he wouldn't do it. He'd be too busy drinking. Yeah. Yeah. And banging broads. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Affleck Batman all the way. Yeah, right. What else you got? Oh, okay. This is from Glenn this Reynolds. This is fun. I like oh, it's this. pretty good, right? Yeah. This is an MC- This is a theory about the MCU. Okay. So, uh, you know, this isn't. This isn't actually. This, there's no spoilers for Infinity War. It just says the whole MCU movie universe, except the start of Iron Man, are dreams of Tony Stark from when he's in the cave to help him cope with the trauma of being kidnapped. I knew there was going to be a dream one. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and th- th- these are ones that I, I think they're always interesting. But they're so grim. Also, there's, a, there's a theory about Breaking Bad oh, that yeah, I think I mentioned dies in the that, the fi- that the final episode of Breaking Bad is he gets just repo mend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so in the in the final episode of Breaking Bad, uh, it starts out he's in a car. Yes, he's very cold. He's clearly like on, he's, he's he's you know his illnesses have returned and he looks like he's not doing very well. And then he he goes to start the car. He can't start the car. Maybe he's going to die there. And then he just, I think he finds the spare keys yeah, under the visor. To... And then everything works out yeah. and he rescues Jesse yeah. and he squares it with his wife and he gets revenge on his business partner. Gets enough money for his kids. kids. And... Everything works out fine. Yeah. And then he dies in his lab. Yeah. Or he dies in a, in a meth lab doing what he loved kind of thing. Meth. But it, yeah, meth, exactly. But then I, th- I think it was Norm, comedian Norm MacDonald said, no, no, what happens there is he actually... It's it's he dies in the car yeah. of like the, just the weather, just the conditions, and everything else is a dream because it works out so conveniently. Yeah, which is I think is a brilliant theory, but I hate it because it means <laughs> that nothing worked out for anyone and yeah, everybody. That's true. Jesse was making meth for Nazis. Yeah, exactly. Forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but yeah, so this is this is a similar theory, which is that Tony Stark is injured in Iron Man One. In you know, Iron Man One. And then he's just in a it cave. It could even be his dying moments. Yeah, right. Because things only start to get fantastical after that explosion happens. I That's mean, there's true. already been stuff in the universe. Yep. So you think he's having dreams? No, no. I think you'll find things are pretty fantastical beforehand because he's got that phone with a screen. Like a tilts. sideways. <laughs> it's a sideways phone. Yeah, it's a sideways tilt it's phone. St- yeah. I forgot. Yeah, so that's pretty, fan- that's pretty wild if you ask wow. me. Wow. 2008 was banging, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really was. <laughs> but... I, I, I just don't I don't like that everything was a dream. No, I hate once. him too. Yeah. Uh, something I recently was revealed that it's, it's in the Tommy Westworld universe or something that I would like. I'm like, oh, no, that's in it. 
Might have been. Could have been literally anything. It's, a, it's everything. Yeah. You can pick any, everything's linked yeah. to everything else. But I think, look, I, I think I could, I could believe like. Is it Westworld? Tommy Westfield. It's uh, Tommy Westfall. Westfall. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. What were you going to say? I was going to say that, that I think, I think the, I like the idea of it, but I think the, there are too many fantastical elements in the Marvel universe for Tony Stark to dream of them. Like, I think yeah. he, can, he can only really dream... He could dream of everybody wearing an Iron Man suit, well, but I don't think yeah. he conceive of, like... But also, is he watching Thor 2? Because he wasn't there. Yeah, right. So is he just imagining a scenario and a relationship between two people he doesn't know? Yes. He's okay. just invented them. He's writing little Mills and Boone novels. I'm going to say little, shuts up. Little Harlequin romance novels where Thor... It could made, even be where as... Where Jane, Jane meets bloody... Jane Foster meets a it's beautiful true. Norseman named Thor. Very good. Anyway, shuts up. It could also be as he, as soon as he gets hit, it could be it. Like that could be the moment it's happening as he's mm-hmm. dying, bleeding yes. out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go on from Nando V Movies, Mason. Ooh. Fan theory. Because of their convenient relationship with Tony in the military, suspiciously uh, suspicious activity, stealing the Mark II, trying to get the drop on, trying to drop a tower on Cap and Bucky, um, and us knowing nothing about his personal life, Rhodey is a Skrull. Mm, okay. I like that one. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Well, this has opened the whole can of worms again of who is the Skrull. Yes. Um, and also, he looks different from Iron Man 1, etc. That's true. But you'd think someone would notice that. I th- what I think would be great is if it's revealed that Banner and Rhodey are both Skrulls. Yeah. And they're just... Nobody noticed. Like, With they're different tricks. actors. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there was actually... Remember that scene in Iron Man 2 where he goes... Look at me, I'm a different actor yeah, because the sure. previous actor yeah, was right, fired. Yeah. From- well, they definitely went, okay, now here's... Because he makes his appearance during the... I think there's a Senate hearing mm. and he said, and they go, here's Colonel James Rhodes. And he's like, it's me, I'm the new guy. Yeah. What do you reckon about this? That's who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. This is from... Uh, oh, wait. No, yes or no. I'm going to say puts up or whatever the... Adds, adds up. up. I'm going to say up. that's possible. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. One of them's going to turn out to be a Skrull and it's... He's, he fits perfectly for that, I feel. Right. You know what I mean? He's close enough to everything. Yeah. But you could kill him and probably get away with it. Yeah. Because he's, he, people like him, but he's not yeah. super well liked. Well, that's the thing. You don't even have to kill them. You could you, kill Bucky, but he can't be Bucky. But that's what I'm yeah. saying. But that's the thing. You don't have to kill him. Yeah. All you have to do is reveal that they're, the real one is in a stasis tube yes. somewhere. Yeah. And then you just crack them out, crack it open, and be like, like an egg. Yeah, and then and then, but not also you can you can you can fiddle with the timeline. You can just be like, oh, we kidnapped, we I replaced him with a scroll six months ago, and then all you have to do is yeah. get him up to speed on six months worth of history, and then it you can add the, then the character's back. But I want a ten year scroll. Really, I want somebody from like the first Captain America or whatever. Okay, then I don't think it's Rhodey. Yeah, you don't think it's Rhodey? No, and it also I feel it what also about Falcon. Ah, uh, this isn't a race thing. Just to kind of okay, right. I think you need a periphery character. Yeah, right. Well, it, I was going to say it can't be anybody with inherent powers. I don't think. Yeah, right. Because that's too big a leap. Okay. Because there so are not like the vision. No, or... because generally speaking, the scrolls who have additional superpowers can't shape shift. Right. Like that's one of the rules is that if you have the powers of the Fantastic Four, you've given up your ability to shape shift. Okay. So it has to be somebody who's human. Yeah. Sharon Carter is, I think, maybe the obvious. I think I got an. I think I got one for that actually here. Yeah. Well, Somebody this is this is in. from. Yeah. Um, That's a, if if so, I like that one a lot. This is at uh, Two Dicks McGee yeah. on Twitter, who said th- fan theory: Pepper doesn't want to have a kid with Tony because she's a scroll. Yeah, possible. Yeah, okay. I think I think I think she dropped a spoiler this week about their future. Yes, which I'm I'm not going to say it. Okay, right. Um, wow, but maybe does yeah. that rule out her out being a scroll? Not necessarily. No. Okay, yeah, but also I think it would make more sense to be a. Family, like like a member of a family, or a I think it'll be mostly be supporting characters or love interests, yeah, and then a couple of the main ones, the couple of the main ones, yeah. Because imagine if it was just like Thor's has been a scroll for six months or whatever. Well, exactly, yeah. Like, but powers as well, like yeah. you said. So it has to be Hawkeye. Could be Hawkeye, Tony Stark, Hawkeye's family. I think it's probably family. if they're yep. not. I, I if reckon not it'll be. Dead. I think it'll be half his family are dead, yeah. and the remaining are scrolls. What about Captain America? I think because uh, he's human technically, so it could be. Yeah, him. it could be him. Uh, not. No, I don't think. It, I don't think it'll be. I don't think it'll be Captain America because then it'll remove their ability in future to have him be revealed Captain as a Hydra, Hydra, yeah, Hydra agent. Point. It could be Bruce Banner, but not being the Hulk, and maybe there's a moment where they call on him and he's, he's like, "I'm not Bruce Banner." 
Like, maybe it, maybe yeah. that's the reason. Spoilers for Infinity War. Ah, maybe that's the reason he can't transform into the Hulk. That's yeah. He can just do a bit of a bit of a face. That's why he can do it the but face. But he also was shot to Earth, like he was the Hulk, and then he was. I mean, there could have been a transfer, but someone yeah. must have grabbed him out of the Bifrost, swapped him with the Skrull, and and then shot him. But to I mean, Earth. not even then. Like, there's there's time between. There'd be time between the battle of the 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 battle in New York versus against the Black Order, and then. But there's a moment ends. in New York where he's trying to Hulk out. But yeah, he can't. right. But you're still right. It could be any point. Yeah. 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 Okay, mm. fair enough. All right, Mason. Okay, I'm ready. What else? Ah, oh, was that, is it my turn or your turn? Uh, it is. Oh, that's a good question. Doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. I can. I got one ready. <laughs> okay, go ahead. One. So from uh, Jesse on Twitter, fan theory: ETs in the Galactic Senate plus ET recognizes Yoda, kid in her Halloween costume, levitate bikes, etc. ET is a Jedi slash Force sensitive. I think I talked about this as well, and like I did a shared universe uh-huh. video. But yeah, I believe Edda, ET is Force sensitive and in the Star Wars universe. Huh. I think they're in the same universe. Cause he... So so E.T. doesn't recognize Yoda. He recognizes Yoda's race, one presumes. Yeah, or he goes towards him, yeah. Which that, would that... suggest that Yoda, he he furthers his, his race at, one, at some point. Yes. Like he meets a lady Yoda. It also suggests that George Lucas found some alien archival footage or scripts yes. that detail the events of Star Wars and then made movies out of them. Correct. <laughs> so, oh yeah that is a good point isn't it yeah, yeah okay but no this i mean the et aliens are in star wars yes so it's this not a theory a, so this much. adds up yeah for sure yeah big time but mm-hmm. I, the theory i guess more is that he's a jedi but he has all the powers that a jedi would have that is true them. like different jedi specialize in different different things uh-huh. and he's just like healing and flying and he burns that kid to a crisp with lightning yeah exactly time. yeah exactly he burns that bully up <laughs> Like he's he's mind linked to Elliot as well. Uh-huh. There's a lot going on there. What do you got? Uh oh, here's another one referring to assorted deaths. Mm. This is Christopher Johnson. We all know Han died in Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. His theory is the seven planned sequels each represent one of his remaining seven minutes of brain function. <laughs> that's grim. Yeah. Oh man. That's a lot of that's a lot of exposition and broing down and family. They, they do each, get each, a each very minute. fantastical. Yeah, after that's true. Three, they do. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. That's that's when four is when they start going off the rails. Yep. So I mean they're all off the rails, but you it's know. It's very what I mean? true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they should bring him back. He's really good. Yeah. I like that. I got one from Sam Lee's okay, I'm ready. on Twitter. There is air in space in the Star Wars universe. One hundred percent. There is, is there? air. Yeah. There's <laughs> explosions and noise. Yeah. And drag. And it's <laughs> and men in drag, men in drag. They got it all. Mm-hmm. Snoke, obviously. Yeah, for sure. No, I think that's true. I think in the Star Wars universe, there's air in space. Oh, and Leia survives. Leia survives through yeah. space. You do, took that huge breath. Do you remember? Yeah. <gasps> I think there isn't. I remember think that sh- I think shuts up. You think it adds up, but I, why- on a physics level, there there is. There's sound carrying. No, and there's sound carrying. But also, why aren't, there, why aren't there more open-topped spaceships? I'm not saying it's all air, okay. but I'm saying there's some there's air. There's some pockets of air, yeah. is what you're saying. Okay, that adds maybe, up. All right. Maybe there's some around asteroids and stuff. I mean, that would make yeah. sense why when they get, when they when they they go into that asteroid field and they just get out of the Millennium Falcon <laughs> yeah, cool. and they just have little masks yeah, on. They don't true. have full space suits. What, well, I mean, they're in an alien, yes. I guess, but yeah, you're right. Look, I think I'm willing to go with in whatever galaxy this is, the wa- the laws of physics are a little bit wonky, and in some places there's air and space. Yep. But the the idea that an entire galaxy is is has breathable oxygen in it, no good. No, it shuts up. Okay, if right. you ask me. All right then. Yeah, you got one ready to go. Uh, here's a fan theory for you. Uh, this is from Chris Hallam. Mason is James's son from the future. <laughs> We'd well, never know. What you do you know never... about my past, really? Well, I, I knew you. <laughs> I guess I was there for a lot of it. Good point. I've known you longer than you were alive when we met. Oh, does that make sense? Yeah, that's well. Then I must have been sent back in time very early yes. on. Yeah, that's really <laughs> that's, wow. That's bad parenting on behalf of you, my dad. <laughs> Adds up. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that sounds like something I would yeah, do. Right. <laughs> uh, mm. This is from Olympus above the Serengeti. Yeah, fan theory. Uh, this is true, but uh, the movie The Rock is about James Bond. Uh, what do you mean this is true? Well, The Rock, in the movie The Rock. Yes, I remember Sean it. Connery is James Bond, but old. They just can't say it. 
He's according a, he's to a, who though? He's a captured MI. No, I am, I'm aware five. of that. I, that's what I'm. I know, but I'm saying like, has somebody conf- you are saying this no. is true? It's not okay. It's not, I'm saying it definitely adds up. Okay. Look, I'm going to prove you by saying, saying it adds not, up. It's, okay, it, they haven't said it's true. Yes, but it is James. That is James Bond. Right. I believe. Okay. Yeah. So it adds up as a theory. Yeah. But I'm saying if if you'd said like, did Michael Bay direct it? I yes. can't remember. If Michael Bay went out and said, listen. We went to somebody and we said we went to MGM and we said, "Can we have the rights to James Bond for this movie?" And yeah. they said no. Then that would one hundred percent. I would say that is true. Yes. But what I'm saying, look, the idea that they've they've made him James Bond, I think that I'm totally adds up. I'm yeah, looking for, for sure. confirmation on this. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's like it's all it's all theories. Yes. But I don't think anybody's ever said it. But how good is that though? Like they got James Bond, and he's just rotting away. In a yeah, that's, that is fun, oh, actually. Yeah. You know what? He deserves it. Yeah, he should. It's, be an, it's an American prison, though. It's American prison. Yeah. yeah. Well, the British. Wait, we don't know him. When they yeah, got him, right so. for sure. He was probably just run like he was, it was MI six, not MI five. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he was probably just running down a street, just machine gunning. <laughs> he's probably just running through like a lab, yeah, like a computer lab or something, just machine gunning <laughs> people. And then the cops got him, and then and they're his like, jetpack. Didn't start. Didn't start exactly, and then he and he killed several cops. Yeah, and then they're like, uh, "Who is this guy?" And he's like, "Oh, my my six. And they're like, "Nah, don't know him, mate. No, no, sorry. Yeah. yeah, he's never got any ID on him. Well, he does, but it's for it's for Universal Exports. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not MI six, is it? It's not a real company, yeah. or is it? Uh, it is. No, it's a front company. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So at least even with the Kingsman guy, yeah. he has a job. That's true. It's like a real job. Yeah. Yeah. I like that Selling one. Selling velvet slippers to posh people. <laughs> For some reason. Yeah. Selling clothes that nobody would wear. Yeah, I really like the rock. The the, the James yeah. one is the rock theory. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, because that's like the point of that character. Yes. What do you got, Mason? Okay. Um, this is from Celeste Jones on okay. Twitter. Uh, fan theory. This this is one, This speaking of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, Gandalf saying, fly you fools, refi- oh, refers yeah. to his actual plan to get the eagles to fly the fellowship part of the journey so in the in the in the bloody when is it is it at the end of the fellowship of the ring King. is it oh sorry with the eagles or the the the, the it's not the end it's when like he falls off the ago. cliff yeah when he falls off the cliff no that's at the end of it's not the end isn't it it's about three quarters of the way through let's yeah, say when he fights the balrog right yeah, it's not at the end because there's right. a whole battle sequence. Oh, yeah, they meet Alps. Okay, it's a right. Whole thing. All right. Well, when he falls off the cliff, uh, thank he says you. he says to the rest of the party, "Fly, you fools!" Yeah. And the th- the going theory is because when he gets captured, yeah, he just jumps on a giant eagle yes. and it flies him to and safety. And at the very end, the eagles pick up Frodo and Sam from Mordor. Yes. So what he was saying is that he was that Gandalf meant to say to them. Summon some giant eagles, yes. <laughs> which will fly you over all, exactly. over all the problems, and then you'll, you won't have any trouble. He could have said, "Get the eagles." Yeah, he should have. He could have said, "Get the eagles." Not the band. Yeah, he's, get- not the band as he's falling. <laughs> he could have said, at right at the start, "Hey, let's get some eagles <laughs> yeah. and fly them yeah. to Mordor." Yeah, but I don't think. I, if I recall, there is a there's a lot of people have done as a as a as a famous fantasy series, which has become a very widely well-regarded movie series. Yeah. There's been a lot of research on this. And I, as I understand it, the Eagles probably wouldn't have made it all the way no. there. And I think also the Eagles weren't keen on it. They're like, we're not fucking with any of this. Yeah, for sure. But also, I think the only reason the, the Eagles could get in is because Mordor was wrecked yes, when they got sure. in at the end. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Like half the, most of the army was gone and most of them had been pulled away from... Yeah. They, and I think, in the, isn't it kind of like it's a, isn't it a really big ask that the eagle comes and rescues him mm, in the in two I towns? Think it is. Yeah, it's all, what are it, it's ridiculous because Sauron, Saruman, <laughs> whatever one? the big eye, Lee. the big eye, that's Sauron. Sauron, Christopher Lee is Saruman. He sees. It's very confusing. I is. know it really is. Yeah, He's, and also if if you knew that the biggest evil you in the in the universe was named like. James. Hello. And then you met a guy who was called Jerooms. <laughs> I think you'd be suspicious of him inherently, wouldn't you? I think so. Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, well, you guys and you've got the sinister eyebrows. Are you are you friends with Did you change your name to Jerooms? Yeah. <laughs> Jerooms isn't that close to James. No, it's quite it's quite different. Yeah. Look, yeah. I'd be suspicious of a man named Jerooms. <laughs> I agree. Are you sure it's not Jerome, I'd say? <laughs> You sure? Yeah, but there's a bit where the eye is looking. This yep. is not really related, but it's looking at Frodo, like it sees him, and then an army turns up to the gates of Mordor. Yes, and so Sauron's eye is diverting. 
Get the ring. So yeah. what? Just keep the gate shut. Yes. Get the ring. Yeah. You huh. fucking idiot. Yeah. I mean, he's only an eye, but get it together, <laughs> giant flavor guy. Yeah, right. Moron. He was much scarier when he was the giant man in the suit of armor. Yeah, he was. Well, that yeah. was. It was supposed to be that at the end, because the idea is he can't physically manifest without the ring. Yes. And there was going to be a bit. There's a bit at the end where Aragon fights a troll, but yeah. that was originally going to be uh, Sauron taking on a human form. Right. Um, but they see they just pretty much just CGI'd over a a troll. Oh right, yeah, okay. So huh. anyway, whatever. Uh, follow up question. Sure. Uh, is Gandalf a human or is he a spirit? Yeah, he's a spirit. Because it'd be more impressive if he, if he was a human wizard, wouldn't it? I mean, he's got the limitations of a human. Huh. To, like he can be harmed, but he's not a he's not a man. So can humans in that universe gain that level of wizardly no, power? No, he was born like that. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Remember that other one who showed up who had bird shit in him, like in his <laughs> just down his face. Right. Same thing. There's like a there's three of maybe there's more of them, but it's the same. There's Sauron. Yes. Uh, Gandalf and bird shit. Jerooms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the bird shit one. Huh. There might there's probably others, but right. they're I can't. There's a name for them, and people are screaming at me, but I don't know it. Uh-huh. But they're a Specific type. So you of can't thing. be a human in that world and also be a cool, awesome wizard. That's a good question. I Isn't don't know it though. That. Yeah, ask the people who will know. Please, somebody let yeah, us know. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. My brother would know that. Mm. The one you don't like. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Fran said, I like this one on Twitter. Uh, fan theory: Uncle Ben is a mutant whose mutation is that he remains dead, and is and it was activated <laughs> in his death. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> he is the only comic book character. It's probably not the only. But who stayed dead? Yes, and for a really long right. time. In um, in Wild Cards, which is the no- superhero novel series that George R. R. Martin mm. created back in like the eighties, there's a character called the Sleeper. Yeah, and every time he sleeps, he he goes into like a hibernation, like a cocoon hibernation. He comes back with a different form and different powers. Okay. And sometimes he's like a regular looking dude. And sometimes he's like with, with cool powers. And sometimes he's like a hideous monster kind of thing. Ah. And so his greatest fear is that one time he'll go to sleep and he'll wake up as a horrible mutant and his power is that he can never sleep. Like oh, that's his like okay, so he's yeah. he's like constantly high and wh- and he's like on meth and like yeah. amphetamines to stay awake as long as possible. Like any time he's got a good power set, yeah. Because he's like, what if I wake up one day and I'm just this hideous beast? Yeah. I'm but stuck. my superpower is stays awake all the time, yeah. and then he could never change power. Then he's stuck like that forever. Ah, but that, I mean, he's also immortal, so I mean, say, does swings the, around about. Mutation even lower like that. His one. Where it would take that limitation away from him. Maybe, I don't know. Or put that limitation on him, I should Ma- say. Who knows? Who blows? That's, I like He's that. crazy, though. I See, bet that's he is from all the meth. <laughs> yeah. What's next? Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, this one has been resolved uh, uh, this week, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. Is this Doctor Who one? No, this is David Agnew. This is an MCU theory. All right. Uh, Thanos is the man playing Gallagher in Avengers 1. He's no, he, so well, he's he, dead though, isn't he? Well, that's my, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So in in Avengers one, everybody's on the bridge of the heli carrier, and I and Tony Stark is like that man's playing Gallagher, yeah. and then and then we cut back later, and he's just bloop 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 bloop, yeah. and he's playing the thing. But he was confirmed dead, yes, <laughs> recently by who was it? It was the Russo brothers. The Russo brothers said no, no, he was he's he's one of the he's one of the fatalities. I bet they just said Infinity that off War. the cuff. Oh, oh for like, sure, yeah. No, but no, I mean, nobody thought about yeah. that. They named a bunch of people dead. They said uh, Betty Ross is dead. They said... What about Aunt May? Aunt May's... I'm, I mean, that's a mercy killing alive, for sure. I think. Oh, well, that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. That beast of a woman. Hideous woman. Ugh. Get rid of her. Put her out of her misery, honestly. <laughs> Put her out to pasture. Shields should go around to her house and hit her with a rock. <laughs> for sure. That should be on yeah. Colson to do that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Put you know, up that... You know why. Yeah. <laughs> Put up that screen they used to kill for killing horses. <laughs> <laughs> Trotto behind it. Yep. But uh, what an opportunity, though. I just thought about this for the Marvel Universe. To murder or disappear if you were left. How do you mean? Every, half the world leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just disappear if you wanted to. Or kill somebody and go. Oh, right. Yeah, Thanos. yeah, yeah. Got That's him. true. You could get go, rid of the get rid of the body. This would be the per- yeah, this is the perfect opportunity to go underground. Like yeah. if you want to. Yeah, if you want to disappear for a while in the Marvel Universe, you just be like... 
I think though. Oh no, I'm I'm fading away. Because all the throw some dust and glitter in the air <laughs> yeah. and just leave. Because the world's in turmoil. Yeah. I think if you're like going underground for like financial crimes, yeah. half the world's gone. People don't care. Oh yeah. That you sure. did that you did some yeah, I guess white that's collar true. crimes, yeah, yeah. you know. But what if you? I mean, this could. What I think this might be good for is like maybe this could, this is an opportunity for like any you know, still existing bad guys to really kind of shore up their yeah. their defences or their like their grip on the world kind of thing. Absolutely. Like maybe like the Vulture's crew or any of those guys could be yeah. like, if any of them are still alive, it'd be like, well, now, you know, the heroes might fix this. So in the yeah. meantime, time to hack into some banking systems and whatever and Build a become laser. rich. Build a laser, exactly. That's it. Yeah. What else we got? Uh, let's see... Um, 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 um. Did I do the last one or did you do one? I, can I can't do one. remember. No, oh, I can do one if you want. Okay, please. It's from Zach Kaiser on Twitter. Not sure if it's been posted, but my fan theory is one of the Robins, maybe Jason, is the Jared Leto Joker, and that's why Batman hasn't killed him. That's a great, yep. It's it's a theory we've talked about for ages, but that just makes so much sense yes. and also makes that character something. Doesn't <laughs> so it? Though, I yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Think. And it, it, it makes uh, like, it makes sense of like why this. Why would the Joker get a tattoo that says ha 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 ha? Yeah. But you'd put that on a guy you were turning into the Joker, maybe. Also, why wouldn't Batman murder the Joker in this universe? Considering because he murders a, everybody else. Because yeah. he's, it's because he's a Robin yeah. or a former Robin. Like I am I am I have nothing against drastically changing some of these, you know, origin stories or no. how characters you know, where characters start and end or whatever, if it's gonna make a more compelling story. Because it's not the same universe. Yeah. If you want it to be exactly the same, read the comic books or one of the animated adaptations yes. or whatever. If you want to ch- I think that's really good. And uh, the other thing is the original Joker could still exist. Yeah. He could be Jack Nicholson. Could be Jack Nicholson is out there. Yeah. He's out there. He's out there. Where is he? He's behind you. No, he died. He fell off the building. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> but that's the thing, you could go you could make that a Just to be clear, he wasn't behind me then, was he? I don't want to look, but be honest with me. Is he behind me? He was. <laughs> yeah. But he's gone. He's gone now, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cost millions of <laughs> I looked. Cost five million dollars for that appearance. Uh yeah, uh I don't know. I would be okay with the idea of at the end of that first Batman movie, there was like a switcheroo. Yeah, right. Like that he didn't like that, you know, you just have him go. Because at, at the end, if you remember the end of the 1989 Batman movie, which you do because it's a classic, is Sorry. that the Joker goes to escape and he climbs on a helicopter. Yeah. A helicopter like ladder. And then Batman grappling hooks him, batarangs him, and he falls off and he falls to his death. Well deserved. I. You could just put a scene where he like the Joker like kidnaps somebody and and put gives him the t- takes him to that weird back alley surgeon yeah. makes him into the Joker and then when Batman and Vicky Vale fall off the roof they do the switcheroo and then the fake Joker jumps on the on the ladder seems and, convoluted no nah, but that's what comic books are built on <laughs> convoluted fan that theories. also is built on bringing back that universe for no reason it's we're in that universe man we're not in the universe. we are absolutely this we're still in the Burton verse the DCEU <laughs> should st- we we we're, we're still talking about. There's no official That's why name Superman for it. works alone. It's the George Bert- Clooney says it mm. in Batman and Robin. Yeah. Unless that's a sequel. Unless that's set after. That's set after. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for fixing the continuity error that's not a real error because Batman and Robin is set after Justice League. <laughs> Wait, no. It's set. Between. It's set between Batman v Superman and Justice League. That's why Superman works alone. Brackets. I mean, and he did, dead. but now he's dead. That, that's why he died. <laughs> so they cut that out. Yeah, they cut that out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, from Jason, it just says two words. Bigger Luke. We talked about Bigger yep. Luke before. Could you explain Bigger Luke again? Bigger Luke is essentially, there's discrepancies in Mark Hamill's height throughout the Star Wars film. Right. And the idea is that there are two Lukes in the universe. One is a clone of the other that's slightly taller. And that explains the because like Darth Vader is played by different actors and yes. they're standing on platforms and whatever. Uh-huh. So that means that one is a clone and evil, and it, it basically gets culminates in Luke fighting bigger Luke in the haunted cave on Dagobah. Right, because it's so Luke. that's not a metaphor or no, a he's literally that's, he's fighting little... a cl- evil clone version of himself that is slightly that's bigger. Slightly bigger. Yeah, yeah. 
That's cool. Adds up, basically. Uh, totally adds up. There's enough evidence there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Follow the money. Mm. Okay, this is Infinity War spoilers. Okay. Uh, this is from Mahad, who says, uh, his, his fan theory is, after his demi-genocide, he did... Wait. Oh, but after his genocide, he was rejected on Titan. Thanos killed everybody. On, Very possible. On Titan. Yeah. I think, like... So it wasn't... It wasn't he clashed with people and then mm. something bad happened and everybody was killed. He killed everybody. Yeah. Like just him. Which explains... It's, 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 it's That shows why he doesn't just make the universe twice as big because he doesn't want to make it twice as big. He, he just, just wants, wants to, to kill, kill people. people. Yeah. And he's justified it by going, well, I'll just kill yeah. half the people. Yeah, if they had to listen to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that totally adds up. That's very possible. Did mm. he say that he was exiled? Is that what he said? I can't remember. I can't remember either. Yeah, but no, I'd definitely buy that. I'd say that. I might, it's, it'll probably end up not being true because in the but movie, there's... it's 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 that their overpopulation yes. destroyed them. Yeah, right. Okay. But maybe it was all the punching that destroyed. Yeah, them. probably all him punching everybody one yeah. person at a time. <laughs> this this one I like a lot. This is from Tim Saxby. Okay, so Peter Cushing, uh, in like the. 1965 and 66, uh, he did a couple of Doctor Who movies or a Doctor Who movie, yep. uh, which is basically uh, the doc- Doctor in that is a human. Uh, they basically sold off the rights, so they made these films, right? Yeah, right. It's a hu- it, it's so oh, it's diff- it's two sorry full color feature films, and the basic setup is that Doctor Who was a Doddy inventor from Earth who created a time and spaceship called the TARDIS. Yep. And it's not an acronym; it's just what it's called. Yep. Uh, and he travels with his granddaughter, and, and he's his just niece human. And he's just a regular guy, right? Yeah, and he's played by Peter Cushing, who ended up playing Tuck, and, and then was recently uh, came back from the dead. To, yes, to be in Rogue, in Rogue One, One, which right. was really good at him. Must have been a great paycheck. Oh, yeah, for sure. But uh, the idea is that, the theory is that that guy is the David Tennant human Doctor Who from season three of Doctor Who. Yeah, right. Where he is grown from the Doctor's severed hand and with and he's, sent, he's not a mortal. He's, he's just, he's a human. Guy. Yep. Yeah, he's human. And there's two of them, and he's, isn't it, he's then sent off to a parallel yes, universe to live with Rose. with Rose, yeah. Right, okay. And the, the real Rose? The real Rose. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, so this, so Peter Cushing is the future version of him. Yes. So, it, so presumably, what happens is this version of the Doctor builds the TARDIS. It figures out how because yeah. the, the 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 human David Tennant. Yes. The Doctor Who, not the actor. Yes. He does he does he have memories of being yes. the Doctor? He does. He's also he was because he was born into war, like the David Tennant Doctor was. Yes. Uh, when he started, he's all like. Like he's all angry and yeah, so right, that, okay. but he lives with Rose and because I I don't think him living a human life is enough for him yeah right so I think that's an entirely plausible theory I also think that that's such a good way to bring back the David Tennant Doctor Who you could bring him back in fifty years because he's, yeah right that's true you could just have because he aged as a human yeah right I mean you can de-age everybody in fifty years <laughs> exactly that's there'd right. be an app that yeah. does it yeah I think that's solid that is yeah adds, adds up, up yeah. adds up this is from Alex Mott. Uh, this is a, I guess this is a Star Wars prequels theory. Boom. Um, when Grievous fought Obi Wan, he could have Obi Wan. He could have won easily. Uh, Grievous could have won. Easily. Grievous could have won easily. Disagree. His, but, 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 he could have won easily by slashing, stabbing his four sabers from different directions. But he made everything easily blockable against one saber. His theory is that Palpatine trained him incorrectly on purpose so that the Jedi could get rid of him ah. once he'd worn out his usefulness. Well, technically, Dooku trained him. But yes, that's a solid theory. Solid theory. That's, okay, that's a good original against, theory, yeah, that's right? That's a great yeah. theory. That totally adds up. Yeah. You should be like, yeah, just... Because, I mean, that would work against almost anybody else. Yes. Just flailing those things wildly yeah. would be like... But if you went four different angles and directions and coming yeah, yeah. in at once, yeah, he yeah. wouldn't... I mean, maybe he would anticipate that and stop it before that happens. Yeah, Because right. he'd leave himself open to uh-huh. it. But that's just... I, I think that... Yeah, that guy's... Also, Dugo doesn't seem that smart. No, and all good. Yeah, right. <laughs> he does. Yeah. But, uh, but I think correctly trained, he yeah. could have done him some damage. So I think that's a good theory. I mean, he has limitations on him because he's not a Jedi. Yes. And he can just crush his heart with the Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I like that theory. Because he, he, he was a... He is a tool. Like, he... he <laughs> Boy, he's is a tool. he? <laughs> I mean, he's not the biggest tool in the prequels. That's, <laughs> that's Anakin, obviously. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's what he's for. Like, he's... He, what was he going to do... After the war, he's not going to get a job in the Senate, is he? That's his purpose. He's a weapon. Yeah, right. Exactly. So that's very possible. That is good. But he did kill a lot of Jedi's leading up. Jedi leading up, mm. actually. But yeah. 
I got a Star Wars one from Mick Jones. Ooh. Uh, of The Clash? Yeah. Wow. Uh, it says, I wasn't sure he was still alive, but all right, continue. <laughs> you may not Thanks be. for listening. <laughs> Rock the Casbah, buddy. Please do. Uh, the Holdo Maneuver works so well. Big because- audio dynamite. Continue. <laughs> the Holdo Maneuver works so well because DJ sliced a gap in the shields protecting Snoke's ship. So the segment where the supremacy sh- shatter lines up uh, with the bit in the shield readout that flickers when DJ's doing his thing. Oh, so he lowered the shields. Interesting. There's a bit of, maybe that's just general foreshadowing. Yes. But the reason I think that might not work mm-hmm. is because that would mean he'd have to contact Holdo and say, hey, are you suiciding this? Because if so, I've left a gap in the shields, and if you hit these coordinates, there would have to be that additional level of contact. Yeah, right. To Which make we never that say, yeah. Plausible. And it also seems like she just figures that out yeah. and does it. And I think if there was that additional layer of con- contact, we would see it mm. in flashback or something. Yeah. Or ma- yeah, I don't know. But good that adds up though, I think. I wouldn't even I I would I would buy that he did drop the shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in general, mm-hmm. because he could. Because he's, you know, he's an agent of chaos and whatever. Yeah, right, right. But I don't think... But if so, that's a coincidence that she ended up using that move. That's true. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Anyway, good work. Good work, Mason. Love Big Audio Dynamite too. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, this is from Andrew Loving. Oh. Yeah, I bet I'm going to be loving this theory. Uh, this is a ter- the theory about the Terminator. Kyle Reese is not John Connor's father. And who is? Uh, okay, so here, here's the theory. The night that the Terminator comes for Sarah, her date, Stan Morsky cancels on her, this, and this is their second date. Ah. So they hooked up already, and, and this guy, Stan Morsky, is John Connor's father. But everybody's forgotten about him because he was not... That's interesting. Yeah, right? So that, this solves the predestination paradox of Kyle being John's father. It does too! Because even if he... Because where did he... Like, how does the loop start? The only way that gets ruined is with somebody from Terminator 5 when Arnold comes back before those events. But you yeah. could easily say, that doesn't count. <laughs> For sure, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I like but... that theory a lot. Yeah. That's a great theory. So basically, he's always the same John Connor. Because otherwise, if it was Kyle Reese, yep. every time he comes back and does it... Nice. It would be a different sperm. A different so, type. Yeah, exactly. It just wouldn't... No, so it could be... Well, I mean, that would explain why he's why a different he actor different every, time. every time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Still. Mm. I think that's good. Okay, so here's... This This is some facts I did not know about the first Terminator movie. Uh, the guy, who, Stan, who cancels on her is voiced by John... Uh, voiced by James Cameron, the okay. creator of the story. Yeah. And also, apparently, the hotel employee that gives Sarah and Kyle a room is also played by James Cameron. Really? So it says... So Alex... Andrew says here, so he's there for the boning either way. <laughs> so... Good, good theory. I like that That's a lot. That's a great theory. I think that would be fun if they were like, because then you, I don't know who the, I, I guess it's just James Cameron, isn't it? Yeah. But I you guess. just, if you were just like, cause that would be also an interesting twist. If the, if the, if Sarah Connor was like, just finally like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I've been saying this to to throw them off the set yes. for decades, for, you know, years and years and years, but actually it was another guy. Yeah. That's why I... But that's because then they're not going to mess with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, they do end up anyway because they go back before. Yeah, right. What I think is interesting about that is it ultimately doesn't matter who the father is because he believes that he's the savior of the universe. Yep. And this John Connor and the son of Kyle Reese. And that's what's important. Yes. Not that he, it's not that he specifically has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't even, they don't look the same either. Not that James yes. Cameron looks like, um, Fucking whatever his name is, any of them, yeah, yeah, <laughs> any yeah. of the sixteen John Connors. Yep, a yeah. couple of people have. Uh, this is this is um, Deadpool related. Okay. Um, I, I don't have it here. This is this is unrelated, but a number of people have suggested that Peter, played by Rob Delaney, in, yes, in the Deadpool two trailer, is actually Pete Wisdom, who is a uh, is a mutant in the Marvel universe. Ah. but I don't think it is. I think that takes the. I think a lot of people want to see a lot of links that aren't there. That sounds like a post credits reveal potentially. Yeah, even though though. Yeah. So so in you know how we've we've talked a lot about uh, Warren Ellis, who's a British. It's uh, true. Uh, comic writer. He always he has he has his signature move is to insert a point of view character, like create one that's just himself. Trans- it's metropolitan. Just, it's, it's just like a like a sardonic. Like he hates the British, media or yeah, whatever. British version of himself. So for when he did, when he wrote for X Men, he created Pete Wisdom, who's just like a sardonic British guy. He was the vaguest of powers. He can shoot like 
like light knives out of his fingers or whatever. Sure. But he's the he's a he's an agent for MI13, which is like the British Avengers. Right. So people are like, well, that that's that, that's what this guy is. Like he's the, the, the powers don't even. I well, mean, it thing. doesn't. Sure. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. I don't think. It <laughs> I don't ever. think so. I well, think I mean, shuts we'll, up. We'll fight. Shuts up. Shuts up. Obviously. Week. Yeah. But uh, big adds up to Terminator. Yeah, this is uh, this is from Alan Duxfield. This is why I thought of that. Okay. Apparently, I don't remember. I don't remember this, but it, apparently in the Deadpool two final trailer, when they when they everybody's jumping out of the plane at the end, there's a parachute just all by itself, like they've CGI'd a character out. Are you aware oh, of that? That's very possible. Unless one of them's killed, man. It, like the parachute disconnects or whatever. Yeah. Right. Um, so it says, he says the, the final poster has this parachute by itself and the feet of the invisible person connecting with the water. So is it a mutant with invisible powers or is it a joke about things being cut out of trailers? I think it could be somebody who's, so they, but their feet are hitting the water. Yes. But there's nobody in the parachute. Correct. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to look this up. I think we should look this up. All right. Do you want me to do anything while you're looking it up? No. Nah. Any luck, Mason? Nope. Oh well, but we did find the uh, there was an edit point there. Just uh-huh. people, we're not that seamless good at, at um whatever this thing is. I'm still do. looking stuff up, uh, but there is an empty parachute, but we can't see. It's not confirmed. I wouldn't confirm it. Look, it certainly we've certainly add. It certainly adds up that there is a parach- There's an empty parachute. Yes, in Deadpool two trailer, and it's in. It's you see it in between Domino and Bill Skarsgård's character. Yes, uh, and then you see it coming out of the plane. So yeah. whether that's just a loose parachute or if somebody's lost their parachute. Mm. Or that's an like somebody's like it's. I packed my lunch instead. Exactly. Yeah, very that funny. Is a, yeah, it's mm-hmm. a good gag. I got one more, Mason. I'm ready. From Joshua Blake, uh, Midgley. Did I say that right? Mm. Who's to say? Yeah, probably Josh. I guess. Uh, Matrix is a future of the Terminator universe. Neo is a descendant of John Connor. Okay, I can see the Matrix being the Terminator future because machines have taken over. Uh-huh. That I get, and it's thousands of years later. Yes, and they're like, let's just make it ninety nine or whatever. Uh huh. But why does it need to be that Neo is related to John Connor? Yeah, okay, I see. You see what I'm saying? I do see what you're saying. Like, what's the connection there? Just because they're both protagonists? That's true, yeah. yeah. Look, and here's the thing. I think that the the all, all the Matrix additional content, I believe, is all in continuity. And we right. already know what the origin of... Oh, yeah, good We already morning. know what the origin of the artificial intelligence in the Matrix is, which is their... their, their they're a future. The, the humanity creates an artificial intelligence, and then they use them as like essentially like robot slave labor, mm. even though they're intelligent. Yeah. And I think at one point, one of the robots kills its master in self defense, and yeah. there's a big legal court case. And then all the robots move to their own city, yeah, right, which is then bombed by uh, humans, and then the, Ma- the Matrix, yeah. Yeah. And then the movie The Matrix. Then the movie The, the movie the Matrix happens. You got any more? No, that's it, I think. Okay, I'd love to do this again. Me too, these were fun. Uh, so maybe hold off on your fan theories until... Next time. Next until time. the next call-out. But if you've got a... You know, is there any of these that you want to uh, refute or or maybe uh, agree with, add some yes. information on, please yes. hit us up on Twitter at Mr. Sunday Movies or at Wikipedia Brown. Yes. Should we do the next segment Let's of the show? Let's do the next segment of the show. This is the, the segment always called What We Reading. And then a what... We're gonna read. I'm doing the thing. What are we reading today? <laughs> what are you reading? Oh, uh, I actually, a whole bunch of stuff. I just watched, I was stayed up until 6 a.m. the other night to watch the whole season of Happy. Oh, which good. Is sci fi, which is uh, it's now, on on, on, now on Netflix. Yeah. I've it's heard really it's good. good. Yeah. It's really good. I always forget how good. Speaking of Man of Steel mm. before, I always forget how good Christopher Mal- Christopher Maloney Christopher is. Christopher Old uh, Melonhead himself <laughs> is in, in many things. He's very good. Uh, and he's got he's, it all. He does comedy. Yeah. He does real dramas, realer than you can imagine. Mm-hmm, that's was, right. He was probably in The Pretender at some point. <laughs> Almost certainly he was What's in The he Pretender. Up to? Well, he's uh, in this, he's, a, he's like an ex super cop turned. Like real drug, down in his like yeah. drug addled guy who like kills bad guys to to pay for yeah. his drugs and alcohol or whatever, and then he is recruited to rescue a kidnapped little girl by the little girl's imaginary friend who is yes. happy who is a tiny little like blue flying unicorn voiced by Patton Oswalt. Is it real or is it that part of? I'm it? not going to tell you if it's real or Don't not. Don't even tell me, mate. I'm not going to tell you, mate. But let me tell you, they're a, they're a good team and it's yeah. it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot, and I think it's it's coming back for season two, which is good. Great, yeah. Good stuff. I, I actually watched the whole series as well. Ten episodes called The Terror. 
it's on AMC or it was on AMC. Yes. And whenever I say AMC, I'm like, boo, Walking Dead. Yeah, right. But then I think they did Breaking Bad. They did they Mad Men as well. Yeah, they did all they, sorts of stuff. It's just Walking Dead has tainted so much <laughs> things. And but, what's the terror about? Okay, so the terror is, but have you ever seen Shackleton? You know the Shackleton story? I'm aware. Well, our friends at Do On did an episode called they Shackleton's did. Endurance. Yeah. yeah, But it's basically uh, a couple of ships get frozen in the ice trying to cross some Arctic terrain or whatever in the mid 1800s because... I don't know, because they want to put flags in fucking soil or whatever. Yeah, right. They love to do that back in the day. Yeah, exactly. And they get stuck. And then they're tormented by like the cold, obviously, and men turning on each other. And they've got to keep up their spirits and British whatnot. Stiff upper lips Stiff upper lip and some are going mad and whatever. But also there might be, they're getting picked off by uh, what you think might be a bear, but it might not be a bear. So you're like, is this a fucking supernatural thing? What is this? Uh And it's... It's great. Okay, and right. And you should 100% watch it. Do I, are there any famous names in it? Uh, I, who would I some know famous it? British actors. The, the guy who played Dumbledore's brother is Ooh. in it. Uh, one of the guys, the guy who had um, Voldemort on the back of his head in the first Harry Potter. He's in oh, it. Oh, yeah, great. Okay. The movie Looking for Ella Brandy. The mum, she's in it. Oh, the mum from Looking for Ella Brandy? <laughs> yeah. Not, but Pia Miranda's not in P. this. Pia Miranda is not in wow, it. Wow. Well, Pia just... Miranda's like 44. I looked it's, it up the other day. It's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We're going to try and send her a fan letter. <laughs> I was going to. Wow. That's no, nuts. Yeah. yeah. But um, no, it's really good. Okay. And like, I, I know Shackleton was made into a series. It had... Um, yeah, right. Oh, you know what it's got? It's got... So you've watched this entire thing. It's got Moriarty, but which Moriarty is it? It's, it's, I think it's got the Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows Moriarty. Okay. And he's in it. Right. Yeah. Uh, so not... Not first season of Sherlock British. Jared Harris. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Right, right. So yeah. not the guy from who's also in Skyfall. No, not that okay, idiot. Right. It's okay. also got Tobias Menzies, and he's he's a sinister looking British guy, and he yep. is in. He's in Outlander. Uh-huh. He's in Game of Thrones. He's in Underworld. He's in a bunch. Oh, he's things, in so many so many things. No, it's totally great. Okay. Uh, so you've watched the entire series. Yes, yeah, ten episodes. Now, without telling me which way it is, yeah. Do you find is it is there more to come, or is this a complete? That's set? it. It's done. Do you find out definitively whether it's a bear or not? Yes. Okay, cool. Do you want to know? No, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't right. think that's spoiling anything. Um, okay. But it's really... And grim. It's very grim. Okay, right. So okay. you won't have fun in any of it. You feel cold watching it. Huh. And, like, and just hungry and sad and, <laughs> and British. Sounds awful. Yeah, it's, it is. Oh, it's a, sound, you feel British. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine? Wow, I feel so violated yeah. and British. <laughs> but I'm going to be stoic about it. You say, would you watch that? Yeah, I'll watch that. Yeah, How many episodes it. did you say? Ten. Ten, okay. Yeah. Oh, I also started watching uh, Search Party. Have you seen that? What's that? It is a show. It's got Alia Shawkat from Arrested Development. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Which is back in a month or something? Yeah, and they've done that weird remixed version. I on... should watch that because I couldn't get into the last season. Because it, it, it was one character at yeah. a time for a long time? Didn't like it. Yeah, right. Okay. Mm. Apparently there's new footage in this. Like they've filmed new footage for it. For the new series for the, that's coming no, out? No, for, the, for this remix really? series. Apparently, oh, wow. That's what somebody told me. Okay. But uh, I don't know. Right. I, don't trust, I don't trust nobody. Do you trust me? No. Okay. Don't even trust myself. Whoa. Yeah. Do you trust Jack Nicholson? Yeah. Is he behind me? He was. Okay. Yeah. How much did that cost? It's so much money. <laughs> so much. Uh, but anyway, so... Uh, she plays uh, one of a group of sort of very self-involved, like twenty-somethings, and sounds about bloody right. I, I know, saying. right? But uh, one of the one of her acquaintances from college, she discovers one of her acquaintances from college has gone missing, okay. and she decides to sort of do some amateur sleuthing oh. uh, around it. And it's it's some AS. Yeah, some it's some AS. Uh, some people have told me that it's qu- quite similar to Girls, which I haven't seen. Oh yeah, but I think it's it's it's. I don't know. I don't. I never. I watched about five minutes of Girls, and I never. I didn't get into it in that five minutes. No. But, but this is more intriguing to me. I thought Girls was something, and then I was like, oh no, this is something else, or huh. it changed into something else that I don't right, like. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, okay. sorry, go on. But it's it's sort of about it's it's it's. I don't know. It's it's less about. So it's not. It's a dramedy. Yeah, it's a dramedy. I think. Yeah. yeah okay. It leans more towards comedy, I think, than okay. drama. But it is. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm like four or five episodes in. All right. It's, it's, What's it's that called again? It's kind of it's a search party. Right. It's on. If you're in Australia, you can get it for free on SBS on demand. So mm. That's how I found it. Very um, good. But it's uh, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. I would like to see where it goes. We should probably recommend comics some weeks as well. I guess. <laughs> yeah, sure, we can do that. Uh, what do you what do you got? Uh, Give me a bloody. bloody uh, what do you got? What do you I got? Have to look at my phone. 
I haven't read Action Comics 1000 yet. I should get onto that. Oh, yeah, I heard that's good. Mm. That's a good kind of throwback. The yeah, yeah. jocks are back, which I'm yeah, a big fan of. Yeah, happy about. Man, I'm well into it. That comic I don't read. I'm yeah, well into sure. it. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here we bloody go, Mason. Oh, this comic's all legit, but it's so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, Batman uh, White Knight wrapped up. There you go. That's the one where the Joker is reformed. Yes. And he's like, no, nah, actually, Batman's the real villain. Yeah, it's not bad. Without okay. spoiling it, did it turn out the Joker was the real villain? It Wouldn't that be spoiling it? Yeah, it would, so don't say it. <laughs> Also, Doctor Star's great. I was going to say that's the yeah. Black Hammer spinoff, right? Yeah, it's really good. It's, Both of those are really good. There's another. There's yeah, another there's the Frankenstein. Whatever, yeah, John, what's his name? Frankenstein. Read all that. Read yeah, read. Every, I was going to say read, every read everything. Comic Black. Of yeah, that, yeah. Doctor Star seems almost identical because a lot of the 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 Black Hammer characters are you know they're deliberate throwbacks to. Yeah, it's like a Martian you know, there's a Martian Manhunter and a, and a Captain America guy. Yeah, and all that sort of stuff. But Doctor Star is. Green Lantern? No, it's of? no, it's Starman, but it's identical to like I've I've actually oh, with uh, the stick and all. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm I have actually haven't read the first couple of issues of Doctor Star yet. Yeah. It's on my list. I just wrote it down as something I should get to. Yeah. But based on just the comics ology description, it's just Starman, isn't it? It's look, I haven't read Starman. Yeah. Okay, but, Starman but, is basically yeah. he's a guy. He's a he's a scientist. He's a physicist slash astronomer, he's got a stick. and he's got a stick that absorbs ambient cosmic energy and can use it to fly and shoot laser beams. And he becomes Starman. And then in the modern day, like the '90s reinterpretation, his his son who takes over the role and the costume is killed. And then the role has to go to like the black the, the second son, the black sheep of the family, uh, okay. who refuses to wear the costume. And it's it's again, it's it's my favorite complete uh, saga of all time, yeah, but. Yeah. It's, it's, it sounds quite there's a ide- lot of that, it, yeah. but it goes more Green Lantern-y. Okay, right. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. But it's definitely, you should, if you like Starman, Mason. I do. And He's my favorite. Do, then you'll like it. Yeah. We should do the next segment, though, okay. and take this bloody home. Yeah, right. Let's, let's send it home. To mother. Letters. The classic one was letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. We're going to hear right now, we're going to do letters. <laughs> Even at the time, I thought Matthew Newton was miscast in Looking for Alan Brandy. Turns out he's a bad bloke. That's right. Also. So you, you nailed that, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good for you. <laughs> Feel good. I mean, you could have called it out at the time. What was I supposed to say? Um, hey, everybody, boycott this movie. For this... Crush act- Pia Miranda's <laughs> career. Destroy the, the future musical earnings of the band Lotel. <laughs> Is that is that good enough for your revenge, James? Yeah, is it? That's okay. Wow. Oh, I also forgot that I, I just bought because I was in that bookshop. You know, earlier I was in the bookshop. This very day. This very day I was in a bookshop because I bought Neil Gaiman's new book, Norse Mythology. Ah. Oh. Which is like his retellings of Horse Nor- mythology. Yeah, it's his his retellings <laughs> of various equestrian creation myths. <laughs> Horse mythology. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that should be good. I like a bit of Neil Gaiman, and yeah, uh, yeah, it should be really good. Cool. I got the white cover in case anyone was wondering. Nobody was. No, everybody was. Black cover, white cover. Got the white cover. Okay, people were wondering. I need you to tell Mason whether that you were wondering or not. Yeah, yeah. And if you had to guess, mm. if I were to choose a cover, would I get the black cover or the white cover? But you which, told them. Yeah, already. no. But which did you think that I was going to get? But you'd only who's said surprised the by the fact that I got the white cover? You said, but you said that before you even said there were two different covers. Well, people know. <laughs> They do. People out there, they get it. All right, got to come. They get it. All right, they get it. It's a multi-part question. (laughs) One, do you care if I bought the book Norse Mythology? Two, would you you rather that I got the book Horse Mythology? Three, were you surprised that I got the white cover as opposed to the black cover? Four, were you aware there were two different covers? Can they just do one, two, three, four? Yes. I won't remember which any of them are. (laughs) What are we talking about? I've forgotten. A horse pathology. Oh, we're yeah. Letters. We're doing letters. Yes. If you want to reach the show, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Oh, yeah, Twitter a letter. Or Weekly Planet Pod at gmail.com to mm-hmm. grab a letter. Yep. Yours is probably mostly fan theories, I'd imagine. It's always ex- yeah. exclusively Maybe we might have to skip that one this week. No, no, hang on. Here we okay. go. That's from Mitch. Uh, it says... Ben Carpenter. Oh, no, okay. go ahead. Just step on my tweet, No, no, Mason. go ahead. Step ben on Mitch's... Carpenter, just be aware your letter's getting read in like two seconds. <laughs> Not mate. if I can help it. All right. Uh, Mother's Day is today. Yep. Uh, is that just an Australian thing? It might be. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Yeah. Uh, if you had to recommend a comic bad book... bad mothers. Nice. Yeah. If you had to recommend a comic book to your mum, what would you choose? Ooh. Uh, Archie. Asterix. No, none Tintin. of those. I think there's maybe like... Uh... No, I would say something that's more like I reckon something maybe historical. I think my mum would like something historical. Sure. Like um, 
Nothing too weird. Depends how young your mum is as well. That's true. Maybe you've got a young mum. Maybe you've got a maybe you've got a young mum. Maybe you've got a, a hideous Marissa Tomei mum. Oh, you know what I mean? Ugh. Yeah. Imagine. Jeez. Mm. Um, I don't I, know. I actually I gave Claire. Uh, I killed giants. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Claire's a mum. She's a young. She's yet to read it, but great. Good pick. It's a good book. Yes. Um, because it's not just about killing giants. A lot of it is. What about Lumberjanes? Because it's girls, Mason. Oh, I get it. Yeah. No, I reckon I would get my mum something like some something historical fiction my mum with like get young with like chance. a lot of like great art deco art or something like Ooh. that. Mum's mum's like that sort of stuff. What about that really spooky Arkham book that's mostly weird art? Arkham Asylum, yeah. the Grant the Grant Morrison one. Yeah, that? maybe. Yeah, it's got sure. a lot of art in it. Yeah. Actually, a lot of comic books have a lot of art in them. Maybe Sin City. <laughs> Which one? Any of them. The bloodiest one. That yellow bastard. Yeah, get that to one. get the man getting his nuts torn off. <laughs> uh, what else you got, oh, this, is from, this is from Ben Carpenter. I didn't realize I got the same tweet twice. He works at a supermarket in New Zealand. Oh. Last week, he served a customer and they bought 14 jars of Bovril. Wrong. He couldn't help but giggle to himself, which resulted in him getting a warning. <laughs> I must say that's a bit of a that's a bit that's a harsh place to work at. I agree. You're allowed to giggle to yourself. Just say I thought of something funny. It was a weirdo drinking <laughs> buying fourteen <laughs> jars of Bovril, which that's, I assume that's enough to cover a human body, isn't it? I think he's going to smear easily. He's going to he's going he's going to smear himself in Bovril. You can do it with He's going to smear a body in Bovril. Yeah, and exactly. Eat it. Yeah. What a creep. I thought no. See, that's mm, that's odd. You're allowed yes. to. So was he got in trouble for laughing at a customer essentially? Yes. So what, what what was that thing my brother put on the desk we found before the show? What was it? My mate? Oh, our mate. Our mate. It's Australian Bovril. It's also vegetarian. Yeah. Mm, no good. Uh, I'm seeing if I can find another tweet. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? These are a lot of fan theories we've already done. This is from Scott Lundy. Uh, do you think that Marvel will be, be bringing the first family, the Fantastic Four, to the MCU in Phase 4? Yes. Yeah, th- absolutely. I mean, if that deal goes through. Yeah, for sure. Then yeah. absolutely. They've already planned it. Yeah. If they if yeah, for this eventual eventuality. Yes. That's all I have to say. Me too. I think I think we've we've maybe mentioned that before, but I'm fired up if that happens. That'd be great. Fired up big time. Yeah. It's from Ninja Dude number three. Uh last one I think. Mr. Sunday movies. As a father, when do you think dad should stop dressing cool? Like wearing rugged ripped jeans and Ed Hardy t shirts or tap out <laughs> or tap out shirts. What's a tap out shirt? Tap out is like an MMA brand. Oh, cool. Just says tap out on the front. Yeah. yeah. A lot of dads watch a lot of MMA, I'd imagine. Yeah, they, I bet they do, yeah. I bet they think. Yeah. You know, I wrestled a bit in school, but if I was yeah. fighting now, this is uh-huh. what I'd do. Yeah. Mm. I think as a father. Sure. But I'm not a father, but I'm saying theoretically as a father. Yes. You should stop wearing jeans that have been pre ripped. Yes. Like if you get a jean. I think you, that's a general rule. No, I think as a, like a, if you're a fashionable young person, you can get away with it but i think if you're if you're a dad yeah if your jeans got a rip in it yeah that's fine that them you that them's your painting jeans yeah, painting jeans or your gardening <laughs> jeans yeah, yeah. yeah but i think if, if you've and they're 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 okay and also with those jeans if you leave them around the house and yeah. your wife throws them away that's that's fair. They're fair game. That's fair game. They're fair game. But I think you remember can... Claire threw away my jacket that was looked like two jackets. But it was actually just one jacket. It's one jacket. My favourite jacket. Yeah, I remember. We yeah. talk about it in the Deadpool commentary for some reason. <laughs> yes. It still annoys me. Mm. It's my best jacket. No, I remember. Because it had the warmth of one jacket, but it looked <laughs> like two jackets. Yeah. Because it had a fake hoodie in it. No, I get it. It was a good jacket, Mason. I remember. It wasn't, but no. I loved it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, whenever I see like a dad out. Yes. And he's wearing like the ripped jeans and like a polo because he thinks it's whatever year it's not. Yes, sure. Uh-huh. I just, I'm like, don't do that. Uh-huh. D- don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you, should, you, can, you can dress the age you are. Unless you look like Jeff Goldblum. And you don't. Yeah, in which case you can wear whatever you want. Yeah. This is from Joshua Carson. This isn't really a question, but mm. it's something we we didn't mention in Infinity War that I that I remember seeing in Infinity War. Spoilers. And I was very excited. And it's not a spoiler. But, no spoilers. Uh, there's, well, okay, there's a scene that takes place in Scotland. Yes. Uh, what? Yeah, but... Uh, oh, yeah. This, this is from Joshua Carson. So it says, um, he watched it and he was like, well, that's not really Edinburgh. It's a set. But what made him realize it was real was in the background, you can see an advertisement in a fish and chip shop offering to deep fry your kebab. It says, <laughs> we will deep fry your kebab. And I remember thinking, that's, that's, inc- that's great thing. stuff. Yeah. Uh, but that's, yeah, that, that's... That's very a, Scottish. Um, he, say, he says, now there's no way someone outside of Scotland would know about this, so it confirms it's actually taking place in Scotland. We deep fry weird stuff here. No, we, yeah. we deep, uh, he says, if you 
think deep fried kebabs are weird. Wait until you try deep fried Skittles. What? Yeah, that's pretty good. We do Mars bars. We do bars deep too. fried Mars bars, which are very good. People used to do it because I used to work at McDonald's. Yes. Yeah, I've worked at McDonald's. Not a big deal. <laughs> but uh, You're a man of the world. That's we my know. view I've traveled. Yeah. Uh, they, people used to deep fry Mars bars. Yeah. I think I had one once and it like nearly stopped my heart. They're so good. But they used to say the people were like, no, it, it wrecks the vats. I'm like, bullshit. No, it doesn't. It does. <laughs> you just it, don't want to see You use the same bars. vat that you use. Like at a fish and chip shop, you can use the same vat you use to like the the pineapple fritters, the banana exactly. fritters. There's a regular fryer and there's a dessert fryer. There's you a put dessert, them in the dessert fryer. Exactly. Fry. Also, I saw a guy's hand go in that. Once. Oh, boy. <laughs> Didn't change the oil, did the reg- they? The regular fryer or the dessert fryer? I think it was a chicken fryer, like the oh, chicken Oh, you shouldn't yeah. put your hand in that. Don't, absolutely don't. He was off yeah. work for a while because he put his hand in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, sometimes you'll see, I've mm. seen this a couple of times, deep fried Tim Tams. It's a trick. They're no good. Deep fried Tim Tams are Too no melty? good. melty? No, because I've got biscuit in the middle. The biscuit doesn't melt. Oh, so it has to be all melty. Yeah, like a Mars bar. Because a Mars bar goes no, all you melty. You know, I haven't had a deep fried Mars bar then. They go all melty. We, they, we do deep fried hamburger, <laughs> yes. hamburger... Like a patty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, my dad loves them. No, yeah, good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Tim Tams, because the biscuit stays hard. Yeah. So you, you bite, you're like, oh, this is a deep fried. And yet the, the chocolate's melting and you get to a hard biscuit bit in the middle. It's no good. Not a good ratio. No, bad okay. ratio. That's the show for this week though, isn't it? Yes, it is. And that reminds me. Yes. Do the end of the show. Okie dokie. Uh, let's, okay. Thank you everybody for listening. Yes. Thank you to everybody for contributing to our uh, campaign for Care Australia. Yes. Uh, we got some of those prizes heading your way at some point. Absolutely. Um, thank you. You get a bunch of bonus stuff even if you don't win a prize. Yeah, for sure, yeah. But now but you you'll definitely win a, win a prize. You, the person <laughs> hearing this. The person listening you. to this. Wait, this is only going out on one feed. If you're yes. hearing this, you won. You're the winner. Yeah. That's right. Hmm. Uh, let's don't see. contact us, though. <laughs> no, we'll... but if you're going to contact us, we're at Weekly Planet Pod on Facebook and Twitter and Gmail and Bandcamp. We've got Correct. that Deadpool commentary up. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies. We've also got at the Weekly Planet. That's our friend Rob Collins. Killing it. Just killing it on every every conceivable platform. What's his deal? I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> but I hope he doesn't feel figure out that he can get a better deal literally anywhere else. Because he will leave us and then we'll be a shell of our former selves. He's killing it. Yeah, he's killing it. Yeah. Um, you can also find him on uh, Raw Collins on YouTube. Correct. Um, Let's see. If you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. If Commentary you want to chuck in a moment. buck. Yep. Uh, you get some of that bonus We're content. We're hopefully going to do a Rogue One commentary maybe this week. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, we'll do that, and then you can also go to the Amazon affiliate link in our episode description. Great, great. If you want to click through and buy some Mars bars and a deep fry? You I can do. do. That. No, don't eat that. You'll die. Nah, do it. Do don't it. do it. Do, do six don't at do a time. It. Do six at a time. Don't do it. Uh, you can also buy some t-shirts on tpublic.com. Weekly Planet t-shirts. You can thank. In fact, we will thank the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham. For all our theme music, they were mentioning that in the uh, the Great Mates group in the, the group. other day. Yeah, and they said, "Do we even know their names? How dare they? How dare they? We'll leave that. It's not even <laughs> not even worth answering because we're so across all of that. We know them. We know them. I actually do, but I'm blanking. <laughs> I'm genuinely blanking, but I do know their names. Oh. This is not going well. Well, it's Gabriel T- Tice Bruton. Of course I've done it is. One. Oh, god damn yeah. it. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, that's it I think okay. I always forget one thing but people remember follow me on Instagram yeah yeah, and me yes you don't have to don't. if you want coke message Mr. Sunday Graham <laughs> on Instagram <laughs> he'll get back to you alright next week uh, Deadpool too Deadpool's so, happening uh, yeah. us, if you've got thoughts email yeah. or tweet him in I can't make it to the media screening but you can so let me know I'll take one of my brothers yeah okay think let the me know what it's like, like okay. actually yeah mm. it's the other side of the city god damn yeah. What an inconvenience, this job that I somehow have. <laughs> yeah, I've right. got to go see a free movie. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it. That's the show, guys. Have a good one. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Gram that gem. Oh. Grab, grab that gram. Don't do it. Of cocaine. No, don't. From Mr. Sunday Movies. Come on, mate. Right. What if I have to go back to teaching? Yeah, Which that's I true. will inevitably. Why would you have to if you're getting all this money from cocaine? It's a good point. Isn't it, though? Yeah. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.